no, that's the other black guy. That uh, the forge, the forge. Your mom. Oh. Your mom. All right, Your every mom. everyone have a seat. Where's oh, Epic? God. Wait, wait, wait. No, who, 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 Everyone's audio is good. Like everyone's audio needs to be kind of equal. <clears throat> so everyone uh, just say like hello. Hey guys. Horrible. Snazzy here. Like one at a time. Hello. This is Snazzy. Uh, yeah. Hello. Okay, boomer. That was epic. Yeah. Spam. Uh, this is spam, and then this is probably gonna be how I'm narrating. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down when it's really low. Yeah. Okay, speak. <clears throat> okay. Okay. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> All right. Who's getting banned today for that? <laughs> um, Ooh, Snazzy, I can't believe you did that. What did I do? Nothing. Uh, Gee, did you right click the staircase? Uh, you have to be standing right next to it. He can't stand, he can't sit. What a scrub. That room might be too long. Oh boy. You can, just, you can stand on the treadmill and work You can make a chair like I did. No, don't leave a shoot. I, I, I no, shoot! I still don't know the characters, my guys. Yeah, me neither. Uh, we'll okay. wing it. We're gonna wing it. Don't worry. Oh! Now try! <laughs> did you kill Shoot? <laughs> yeah, we can pick up, um, Rose nice. as we go. <laughs> oh, I don't think I can- No, Secret says, ew, it's the Venta stuff. Just sit down. <laughs> We can't sit along that wall, that's what I'm saying. Well then place yeah, a seat like I did. Yeah, you can. Oh wait, you, you can. Okay. So the sound is yeah. good, right? Someone checked if the sound was all good? I did not, I will do that. Oh Hi. good, this works for both of <laughs> What's going on there? That was so creepy. He just sat down <laughs> and turned to me and went, Hi. You sound like Heath Ledger there, man. I am Heath Ledger. Oh, I knew it. It's about sending a ma Oh, okay. I had to explain to a coworker what daddy meant. Oh my god. We had to, we, we had to like, show her, um... I'm being patient. Like, no, we Dude, showed her- next to Snazzy. I think she I'm was... a little quiet on this stream. You might want to boost Okay, I'm gonna turn you up then. Face boosting. That was Snazzy, right, who said that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good, I'm not, I'm not that dumb then. I'm getting a phone call, what did, wh why? It's me. Alright, live Hello. phone call. Hello? Hello? Hi. Somebody literally DM'd home? me saying, I'm yeah, watching I am you home. read the script, Lamel. Uh, <laughs> you <laughs> like, actually, today? they're like, oh, I'm watching you read uh, the no, script. No, I'm okay. Sorry. I'm busy, though. Yeah, I'm busy, though. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Love you, bye. Sorry, important things going on here. She knows if, I, if, she, if she calls me and I say I'm busy, she knows I'm playing a game. <laughs> or oh, talking. Okay. This oh, is yeah, so why, much is more than a game. why is JHB here? Can someone kick him out? Can you get out of here? You're not a part of the description, JHB. Out. Wait, she's calling me uh, back. Incredible. No, it's spam. <laughs> I'm answering it. Uh, hello. Yeah, uh, Snazzy, you should be Hi. buried because <laughs> Snazzy. Is... Sorry, Snazzy, you should be buried because of um. <laughs> spam might <laughs> spam might be going to go to work soon, so. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> spam, why? Uh. Do you have Canada wide uh, calling? Uh, yeah. Do you not? Oh, okay, good. I do, yeah. It was just because he. I was like, oh my god, my mom's calling me back Spend immediately. Like how I you. And then I just see <laughs> spam the man. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> when are votes working? They do. I fix. I fix yesterday. I okay. fix yesterday. Yes. All right, let me open the <clears> theme of the thing. All right. So, who? how are we starting this? It's gonna be, well, uh, first off, we're going to be reading the B-Movie script, everybody. Yeah, this welcome. This is our January donation goal, thanks to you guys. Yes, we love you um, all. You Ooh. can originally thank this idea from Spam for reading it during a previous feeding time. Like a month ago. And causing me and Jenna to come up with the idea of this insanity. Yes. Well, speaking of insanity, um, we're going to keep going until we lose our minds. Yes. Um, so it might so not be the whole thing, not... but we're, we're going to lose our minds before then. Yeah, Very soon. probably. <clears throat> Imagine I having Epic at 83% and him still being too low. No, 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 wait, wait. I'm gonna put Epic at so, 60%. Um, who is... Why, why? Oh, 
I... The stream itself is pretty quiet, by the way. Just heads up. Is it? Okay, then I'm gonna turn yeah, everything. Yeah, I'm at max, off. so I can't really hear it. Just right. boost who's everyone. who's reading boost what? Everything. Okay, I boosted everybody and everything. So maybe that will fix it. I don't know. I'll turn Who myself up as well personally on my. Oh hey, Cap. Headphones. It's Cap. And... Cap is here. Cap. Cap, are you gonna Cap talk? Lit. Um, please say hi to Shu from Fire. You got it. Um. All right. So, who's starting this again? I think it's. Spam it's gonna be Snaz. Uh, no, no, epic. You're epic. Did somebody really say epic? Are you bald? What? How do they know? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this movie did terrible. Fifty-one on Rotten Tomatoes. Cap what are you is, doing? Cap is, using, <laughs> Cap is gonna use his mic, right? Uh, Cap, are you in? He's in here. No, but <clears throat> oh, he can't do it. Okay, that's fine. He, he that's, can't talk. That's an F. That's okay. Oh, wait, and are we are we doing uh, like stage directions and stuff like that? No, no stage no. directions. No. Okay, I don't know spam. It might I make think, more sense I if you read that. Just, that might be helpful. I, th no, I think it's gonna be. Oh, hey, he's. Sh wait. Oh, it's Who's Barry that? can be Barry. You. Hey, Barry. Oh yeah, Barry. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, Barry is Barry. No, Barry please, no. Okay, yeah, so this seems a little young to be hitting on a grown woman. Barry in the movie. Barry in the movie is like three days old, so. If someone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no worries. All right, so who's who? That's what I've been asking. All right. Uh, Barry, are you on the website then? We're so uh, yeah. Is okay. everybody who's reading on the website? Don't, don't make yes. me Barry, please. Okay, no, right, I'm Barry. I'm Barry. You can <laughs> be Barry's no. friend. You can if be you Barry's friend. It... Remember the other guy? Please Adam. no. The techno is gonna be Adam. Oh, can someone see Adam? Yeah, Wait, there? What? Techno's Adam. Oh yeah, I got you. Oh yeah. If you see a missing card, just you guys like the skin. In, no you guys matter, like the no skin. Oh god, do you have a Barry Benson skin for it? Look, guys. Oh, and you're invisible. We can't see you yet. I can't see him. You look so stupid. You guys like my my custom skin. Well, we can't see you. Still, you're still Where are you? Frozen. Spam, get out of your fish tank. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Give me a stack of time. <laughs> Secret. Wait. Okay. Where, where are you? Says, oh, okay, Gabby. I actually where can't see you, Barry. I can't see him. I'm so disappointed. I I'm going to log off and come back on. I'll be with you guys nice. in spirit. So this script is going pretty well. Yeah. Who, wait, who said that they'll be with us in spirit? Tech, no. You're not reading with us? Oh, you meant physically. On wait. the server. Oh, is he... wait. Oh, oh my... Here, wait, let's make it. I'll make it. Here, I'll make a techno NPC. No, please. Stop. Why would you have an NPC when you could have the real oh thing? Oh my god, you were actually awesome. I love wow, you. You're that's so awesome. that's just that just hurt that hurt me. Wait, I like the treadmill. All right, you just hang out here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I... Everybody have a seat. Hold on, hold on. I'll make some extra chairs. I'm yeah, not... going on the bmovie.com. Yeah, you can't sit on that What's side. I don't know I'm, not... I'm not able to What's his to username? Sit. Yeah, sit on the chair somewhere else. Oh, yeah. -N -O. Can you move his thing, Thanks. like, onto the couch? Hold on, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> there you go. Where's the right, thing? I was just taking way too long to start reading a script. Just hold on, hold on. Just <laughs> stuff. What do you expect? Wow. Oh, no. <laughs> I messed up. Oh, no. <laughs> What right. is that thing? Let's try again. Oh, oh, perfect. Can you make him face us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Who lives in a hold on, hold on. <laughs> yes, God, is I meant that. putting on uh, gold armor, <laughs> so he looks a little more yellow. I have no idea how to do this. There, do you see Barry's skin now? <laughs> oh, my oh God. that's nice. Hey, you took my seat. No, your seat's oh, here. Sorry, dude. Epic, I, I made you a new sit next seat. To you. What the heck? Okay, God, why won't he face me? Okay, you can sit back in that seat. He was just being dramatic. I told you, it's not the real thing. It's okay, he can just turn. <laughs> it's fine, no one will know. It's fine. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. Just wow. Just it's fine. <laughs> he just jacked his seat. That's fine, I'm gonna stand up here. Okay, here, oh, I got it, I got it. I made you another seat. Oh, he'll look at us. I'll make him look at us. There we go, there we go. Oh, that's so parts. creepy. <laughs> He's just looking at Parcival. <laughs> 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 oh, that's so bad. Hey there, Parcival. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's, been, it's been 10 minutes. <laughs> he just um, follows us. Alright, alright, alright. Spam, get us started, yeah? Uh-oh, your mic's super quiet. Yeah, you're super quiet, man. I think you messed your mic a bit. Is that a little better? No. A little. It's, it's... I'll just I go yeah, higher, yeah, though. I'm just gonna turn it's extremely quiet. Yeah. Am I getting up? No. 
can't even hear you. Hang on, I just might turn you up myself. No, because he'll boost himself and then you'll die. Um, uh, I think you did something to your mic. Guys, go no, on the stream. Reset. That's okay. I turned you up, so it should be okay. <clears throat> well, I, I want to hear him then. I'll just boost him myself. Oh, yeah, so I didn't know. Can, can so Adam say the N word? No. Okay, spam. Lead us away. Oh no, I crap. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. So what, what rules are we doing here? Um, if someone okay. doesn't say Okay, basically, Spam's the narrator, so Jenna's Vanessa, Snazzy is Barry, and then if you see a missing spot in the script, fill yourself in. Okay. Uh, so just um, make sure you're committed to being that. Techno is. Te techno is Adam. Yeah. Techno is Adam. Okay. Let's so go. if you see Barry's mom and you know you I'll say the mom, line, okay. stay committed and be that character throughout the rest of the, yeah. the thing. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'll, I'm gonna do all the girl ones. So if I see a girl name, I'm gonna. Say okay. So Jenna's all the female names. Okay. And then okay. So I'm gonna be hitting on my mom, basically. You're hey. All right, let's go. Let's go. Alabama, <laughs> Alabama, one hundred. Alabama, Arkansas. <clears throat> sure All right, let, let, let's get started. Okay. <clears throat> Here, actually, I need a drink of water. Yeah, me too. Got to get into the B mindset. Wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> Adam, say the N word. <laughs> no, Adam, say Adam cannot word. say. I do I not want... think Adam can say the N word. I want to say right, the N word. All right. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> oh my God! On, I'll be right back. Epic! I swear to God. <laughs> 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 this is a disaster already. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh my, oh my God! Guys. That's oh my a nightmare. Goodness. All right. Someone start us off. Black screen with text. <laughs> 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 the sound of buzzing bees can be heard. Oh my goodness. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body to the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway, because bees don't care what humans think is possible. Yellow. Barry is picking out a shirt. No, we're not we reading, reading these! That. Yellow, I'm reading black. It. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Ooh, black and yellow. Let's shake it up a little. Barry! Breakfast is ready. Coming! Hang on a second. Barry uses an antenna like a phone. Hello? Through phone. Barry? Adam? Can you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Barry flies down the stairs. Looking sharp. sharp. Alright. We'll give it we'll, we'll we'll give it to uh we'll give it to see. Barry, Barry takes it. Looking uh, sharp. Use the stairs. Your father paid good money for those. Sorry. I I'm excited. Here's the graduate. We're very proud of you, son. Perfect <laughs> report card. All bees. Very proud. Rubs Barry's hair. <laughs> Ma, I got a thing going on here. <laughs> you got lint in your fuzz. Ow! That's me! Uh, wave to us. We'll be in row 118,000. Why? <laughs> Barry flies out the door. Barry, I told you. Stop flying in the house. Barry drives through the hive and is waved at by Adam, who is reading a newspaper. Hey, Adam. Hey, Barry. Adam gets in Barry's car. <laughs> is that fuzz gel? A little. Special day. Graduation. Never thought I'd be... Barry pulls away from the house and continues driving. Three days grade school? Three days high school? Those were awkward. Three days college? I'm glad I took a day and hitchhiked around the hive. He did come back different. Barry and Adam pass by Artie, who is jogging. Hi, Barry! Artie, growing a mustache? Looks good. <laughs> you hear about Frankie? Yeah. You going to a funeral? No, I'm not going to his funeral. Everybody knows. Stink someone, you die. Don't waste it on a squirrel. Such a hothead. I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. The car does a barrel roll on the loop-shaped bridge and lands on the highway. I love this incorporating an amusement park into our regular day. I guess that's why they say we don't need vacation. <laughs> Barry parallel parks the car, <laughs> and together they fly over the graduating students, playing Pomp and Circumstance. 
I don't know how that goes. Uh, boy, quite a bit of pomp under the circumstances. There you, Adam. Sit down and put on their hats. Well, Adam, today we are men. We are. Be men. <laughs> Amen. This movie is Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Barry and Adam both have a happy spasm. <laughs> pomp and circumstance end. <laughs> Students, faculty, distinguished right. bees, please welcome Dean Boswell. Welcome, New Hive. Does that say so, oh, city? Yeah. city? City. That is not. Is not. Welcome, <laughs> New Hive City, graduating class of nine. What? Fifty? I don't, I don't understand what's happening. Nine fifteen. Oh, that concludes our time. ceremonies and begin your career at Honex Industries. Will we pick our job today? Adam and Barry get into a tour bus. I heard it's just orientation. Tour buses rise out of the ground, and the students are automatically loaded into the buses. Heads up, here we go. <laughs> Keep your hands and antennas inside the tram at all times. I wonder what it'll be like. A little scary. Welcome to Welcome. the division of Hensco <laughs> and a part of the Hexacon group. This is it. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> The bus drives down a road, on, and on either side are the bees' massive, oh complicated honey-making machines. <laughs> we know that you, as a bee, have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for, for your whole life. Honey begins when our valiant pollen jocks bring the nectar to the hive. Our top-secret formula is automatically color-corrected, sand-adjusted, and bubble-contoured into this soothing, sweet syrup with its distinctive golden glow. As you know... Honey, Three, honey. Two, one. Honey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was really bad. The guy has been collecting honey into a bottle, and she throws it into the crowd on the bus, and it is caught by a girl in the back. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that girl was hot. <laughs> She's my cousin. She is? Yeah, we're all cousins. Right, you're right. <laughs> At Honex, we constantly strive to improve every aspect of bee existence. These bees are stress testing a new helmet technology. The bus passes by a bee wearing a helmet, who's being smashed into the ground with fly swatters, <laughs> newspapers, and boots. He lifts a thumb, but you can hear him groan. Uh, what do you think he makes? Not enough. <laughs> Here we have our latest advancement, the Chromen. They pass by a turning wheel with bees standing on pegs, who are each wearing a finger-shaped hat. Wow, what does that do? Catches the little strand of honey that hangs after you pour it. Saves us millions! Mm. Intrigue? Can anyone work on the Chromen? Of course, most bee jobs are small ones, but bees know that every small job, if it's done well, means a lot. But choose carefully, because you'll stay in that job you pick for the rest of your life. Everyone claps except for Barry. The same job for the rest of your life? I didn't know that. Well, what's the difference? You'll be happy to know that bees, as a species, haven't had one day off in 27 million years. Jesus Christ. Uh, so you'll think you'll just work us to death? Well, sure try. Everyone on the bus laughs except for Barry. Barry and Adam are walking back home together. Wow! That blew my mind! <clears throat> What's the difference? How can you say that? One job forever? That's an insane choice to have to make. Well, I'm relieved. Now we only have to make one decision in my life. Or our life. Yeah. <laughs> but, Adam, how could they never have told us that? Um, why would you question anything? We're bees. We're the most perfectly functioning society on Earth. Society, yeah. <laughs> You ever think maybe things work a little too well around here? Like what? Give me one example. Barry and Adam stop walking. <laughs> it is revealed to the audience that hundreds of cars are speeding by and narrowly missing them in perfect unison. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Hmm. Uh, please clear the gate. Royal Nectar Force on approach. Wait a second. Ch check it out. The pollen jocks fly in, circle around, and landing in line. Hey, th those are pollen jocks. Wow, I've never seen them this close. They know what it's like outside the hive. Yeah, but some don't come back. Hey jocks, hi jocks, uh, <clears throat> amazing. 
the pollen jocks hook up their backpacks to machines that pump the nectar to trucks, which drop away. You guys did great. The monsters just got my freaks. I love it. Punching pollen jocks in joy. I wonder where they were. I don't know. Their day's not planned. Outside the hive, flying who knows where, doing who knows what. You can't just decide to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that. Right. Barry and Adam are covered in some pollen that floated off the pollen jocks. <laughs> Look at that. That's more pollen than you and I will see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. Bees make too much of it. Perhaps, unless you're wearing it and the ladies see you wear it. Barry waves at two girls standing a little away from them. Those ladies? Aren't they our cousins too? Distant. So, so distant. <laughs> Look at these two. Couple of hot parries. Let's have some fun with them. It must be dangerous being a pollen jock. <laughs> yeah. Once a bear pinned me against a mushroom. He had a paw in my throat, and with the other, he was slapping me. Slaps at him with his hands. <laughs> oh my! I never thought I'd knock him out. What Looking at Adam. Oh. What were you doing during this? Uh, obviously, I was trying to alert the authorities. I can autograph that. The pollen jocks walk up to Barry and Adam. They pretend that Barry and Adam are really pollen jocks. A little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? Uh, yeah, gusty. Mm -hmm. We're hitting a sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Barry? A puddle jump for us, but maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I am. You are not. We're going at 0900 at J-Gate. What do you think, Buzzy Boy? Are you B enough? I might be. It really all depends on what 0900 means. The scene cuts to Barry looking out on the Hive City from his balcony at night. Hey, honey. Dad, you surprised me. You decide what you're interested in? Well, there's a lot of choices. But you only get one. Do you ever get bored doing the same job every day? Son, let me tell you about something stirring. You grab that stick, and you just move it around, you stir it around, you get yourself into a beautiful rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know, Dad, the more I think about it, Maybe the honey field just isn't right for me. You were thinking of what? Making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Janet, your son's not sure he wants to go into honey. Barry, you are so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're just going into honey. Our son, the stirrer. You're going to be a stirrer? No one is listening to me. Wait till you see the sticks I have. I could say anything right now. I'm gonna get an ant tattoo. Barry's parents don't listen to him and continue to ramble on. Let's open some honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my thorax, shave my antenna, shack up with a grasshopper, get a gold tooth, and call everybody dog. I'm so oh proud. God. <laughs> the scene cuts to Barry and Adam waiting in line to get a job. We're starting work today. Today's the day. Come on, all the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Hmm. Pollen counting, stunt B, pouring, stir, pouring, stir, front desk, hair removal. Is it still available? <laughs> Hang on, two left. One of them's yours. Congratulations, step to the side. What'd you get? Picking crowd out, stellar. He walks away. <laughs> wow. Couple of newbies? Yes, sir. Our first day. We are ready. Make your choice. Adam and Barry look up at the job board. There are hundreds of constantly changing panels that can be available or unavailable jobs. It looks very confusing. You want to go first? Uh, no. You go. Oh, my. What's available? Restroom attendance open. Not for the reason you think. Any chance of getting the Krellman? Sure, you're on. Puts the Krellman finger hat on Adam's head. Suddenly, the sign for the Krellman closes out.
I'm sorry, the crumman just closed out. Takes Adam's hat off. Wax monkey's always opened. The crowman opened up again. What happened? A bee died. Makes an opening. See? He's dead. Another one dead. Deadly. Deadified. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. Dead from the neck down. That's life! Ah, uh, this is so hard! Barry remembers what the pollen jock offered him and he flies off. Heating, cooling, stunt bee, poor, stir, humming, inspector number seven, lint coordinator, stripe supervisor, might wrangler. Barry, what do you think I should... Barry? Adam turns around and sees Barry flying away. Barry! Our narrator's having a stroke. <laughs> All, All right. right. We've got the sunflower patch in quadrant nine. Through phone. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out? Out where? Out there. Oh, uh, no. I have to before I go to work for the rest of my life. You're gonna die. You're crazy. Barry hangs up. H Hello? Another call coming in. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a Korean deli on the 83rd. That gets the roses today. Hey, guys. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Hold it, son. Flight, flight deck's restricted. It's okay, Lau. We're gonna take him out. <laughs> Let's hand on Barry's shoulder. <laughs> really? Feeling lucky, are ya? B to Barry. Okay. Sign here, here, just initial that. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you got a rain advisor today. As you all know, bees cannot fly in the rain, so be careful. As always, wash your brooms, honey sticks, ho well, hockey sticks, dogs, birds, bears, and bats. Also, I got a couple of reports of root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in a home because of it. Babbling like a cicada. Oh, fuck. That's awful. Still talking through megaphone. And a reminder for you rookies. <laughs> Bee law number one. Absolutely no talking to humans. All right, launch positions. The pollen jogs run into formation. Buzz, 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 buzz. Black and yellow. Yeah, you know what it is. Hello. You ready for this hot shot? Yeah, yeah. Bring it on. Oh, everyone, wind check, antenna. Check. Thank you. Ne nectar pack. Check. Check. Wings. The fuck? Check. Stinger. Check. Scare out of my shorts. Check. <laughs> okay, ladies, let's move it out. Pour those petunias. You strike. Strike that. Well, you strike that. Lulu, are you having a stroke? The pollen. <laughs> yes, wow, I'm out. I can't believe that I'm out. So blue. I feel so fast and free. Box kite. Barry flies through the kite. Wow. Flowers. <laughs> Pollen Jock puts on some high tech goggles that shows flowers similar to heat sink goggles. This is blue leader. We have roses visual. Bring it down 30 degrees and hold. Roses. 30 degrees. Roger. Bring it around. Stand to the side, kid. It's got a bit of a kick. The pollen jock fires a high-tech gun at the flower, shooting tubes that suck up the nectar from the flower and collects into a pouch on the gun. That is one nectar collector. Ever see Ever pollination see up close? No, sir. <laughs> Barry and the pollen jock fly over the field. The pollen jock sprinkles pollen as he goes. I pick up some pollen here, sprinkle it. Over here, maybe a dash over there. A pinch on that one. See that? It's a little bit of magic. This pollen jar That's amazing. Is Why do we do that? <laughs> That's pollen power. More <laughs> pollen, more flowers, more nectar, more honey for us. Cool. <laughs> Sounds like the slug for Monsters, Inc. <laughs> I like how all this big is just cool. I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow. <laughs> Could be daisies. Don't like, like into the movie. <laughs> Copy that visual. Wait, one of these flowers seems to be on the move. Say again. You're reporting a movie flower. Affirmative. Oh, Ken. 
the pollen jocks land near the flowers, which to the audience are obviously just tennis balls. Glad it states it. Shoot, what the heck? That, that was on the line. <laughs> this is the coolest. What is it? I don't know, but I'm loving this color. It smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah, Fonzie. Sticks his hand on the ball, but it gets stuck. Chemically. <laughs> Paul and Jock finally gets his hand free from the tennis ball. Careful, guys. It's a little grabby. <laughs> Oh, the Paul like and Jocks turn around and see Barry lying his entire body on top of one of the tennis balls. My sweet lord of bees. <laughs> <laughs> Candy, Candy brain, brain, get off there. <laughs> Paul and Jock number one pointing upwards. Problem. A human hand reaches down and grabs a tennis ball that Barry is stuck to. Guys. This could be bad. Affirmative. Vanessa Bloom starts bouncing the tennis ball, like not knowing that Barry is stuck to it. Very close. It's gonna hurt. Mama's little boy. <laughs> Barry is being hit back and forth by two humans being playing tennis. He is still stuck to the ball. You are way out of position, Rocky. Rocky. Coming in at you like a missile. <laughs> Barry flies past the ball and rocks, still stuck to the ball. I can't do this ball. much longer. Barry in slow motion. Help me! Paging phone jock. I don't think he's on flowers. flowers. What? Should, should we, we tell should him? We, should we tell him? No, I, I think he knows. <laughs> what is this? Match point! <laughs> you can stop packing up, honey, because you're about to eat it! A pollen jock coughs, which confused Ken, and he hits the ball the wrong way, with Barry stuck to it, and it goes flying into the city. Yowzer! <laughs> Barry bounces around town and gets stuck in the engine of a car. He flies into the air conditioner and sees a bug that was frozen in there. Ew, gross! The man driving the car turns on the air conditioner, which blows Barry into the car. <laughs> I'm driving! Hi, B! Barry smiles and waves at the baby girl. Hey, babe. He's back here! He's gonna sting me! Um, nobody move! If you don't move, he won't sting you! Freeze! Wait, wait, can we just comment on the fact about Shu? Do you see Shu just sitting there? I did see Shu. I, I saw him, and I saw him walking around. Oh, I like, didn't realize I left. I haven't even checked the game. I yeah, should rejoin. I keep... I just think it's yeah. just funny how he's just sitting in the chair. He's so okay. tiny. I mean, that's where we shoved Techno the first... Oh, Jesus Christ, Dylan! He threw my teddy bear at me. Alright, let's continue. Grandma and car. Paging Grandma and car. Oh, oh, I guess I'm Grandma and car. He blinked! What? The grandma whips out some bee spray and sprays everywhere in the car. <laughs> Climbing into the front seat, still trying to spray Barry. Yeah, I love my, my bee Graham! <laughs> Granny! <laughs> what are you doing? Barry escapes the car through the air conditioner and is flying high above the ground. Safe. Wow! The tension level out here is unbelievable! Barry <clears throat> sees that the storm clouds are gathering, and he can see rain crowds moving into this direction. I gotta get home. I can't fly in the rain. I, I can't fly in the rain. A raindrop hits Barry, and one of his wings is damaged. I can't fly in the rain. A second raindrop hits Barry again, and he spirals downward. Mayday! Mayday! Be going down! <laughs> <laughs> World War II plane sound, sound effects are played as he plummets, <laughs> and he crash lands on a plant inside an apartment near the window. Ken, could you close the window, please? Hey, you should check out my new resume. I'm going to fold out brochure. You see? Folds brochure a resume out. Folds out. Ken closes the window, trapping Barry inside. Oh no! More humans! I don't need this! Barry tries to fly away, but smashes into the window and falls again. What was that? Barry keeps trying to fly out the window, but he keeps being knocked back because Such the window is closed. Maybe this time. This time. This time? This time. This time. 
This drapes? Barry taps the glass. He doesn't understand what it is. That is diabolical. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's got all my special skills, even my top ten favorite movies. What's number one? Star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't go for that. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Ken makes finger guns and makes pew pew pew, pew, pew sounds pew. and then kind of stops. Kind of stuff. <laughs> no wonder we shouldn't talk to them. They're out of their minds. When I leave a job interview, they're flabbergasted. Can't believe what I say. Barry, looking at the light on the ceiling. There's the sun. And maybe that's a way out. It starts flying toward the light bulb. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on Barry hits the light bulb and falls onto the dip on the table that the humans are sitting at. I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter. At first, I thought it was just me. Andy dips a chip into the bowl and scoops up some dip with Barry in it and is about to put it on his mouth. Wait, stop! Bang! <laughs> Andy <laughs> drops the chip with Barry and fear and backs away. All the humans freak out. Stand back. These are winter boots. Ken has winter boots on his hands, and he's about to smash the boot, <laughs> but Vanessa saves him last second. Wait! Don't kill him! Vanessa puts Barry in a glass to protect him. You know I'm allergic to them. This thing could kill me! <laughs> Why does his life have less value than yours? Why does his life have any less value than mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying, all life has value- Alright, Janus. Uh... <laughs> You don't know what he's capable of feeling. Vanessa picks up Ken's brochure and puts it under the glass so she can carry Barry back to the window. Barry looks at Vanessa in amazement, amazed that she's such a hippie. <laughs> My brochure! There you go, little guy. Vanessa opens the window and lets Barry out. But Barry stays back and is still shocked that a human saved his life. Oh, sorry, I started to eat chocolate. I'm not sure that I'm an allergic thing. Put that on your resume brochure. Well, my whole face would just puff up. Make it one of your special skills. Oh, oh, sorry, I forgot I was Andy. Oops, my bad. Everyone is. Knocking someone out is also a special skill. Oh. Ken walks to the door. Right. Bye, Vanessa. Thanks. Vanessa, next week, yogurt night. Sure, Ken. You know, whatever. Vanessa tries to close the door. You could just put carb chips on that. What the? Bye. Carol. Closes door. It's supposed to be less calorie. Bye. But Ken opens it again. No, bye. Closes door. Fast forward to the next day. Barry is still inside the house. He flies into the kitchen where Vanessa is doing dishes. Barry talking to himself. I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. All right. Here it goes. Turns back. No. Oh god. What would I say? Oh my god, look how much I could really get in trouble. A it's a B law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to. Barry disguises himself as a character on a food can as Vanessa walked by again. Oh, I can't do it. Come on. No. Yes. No. Do it. I can't. Kill how should I start it? Barry strikes a pose and wiggles oh his God, eyebrows. You like jazz? <laughs> no. That's not good. Vanessa is about to walk past Barry. Here she comes. <laughs> Speak, you f- uh, Hi. <gasps> Vanessa gasps and drops the dishes in fright and notices Barry on the counter. Uh, I'm sorry. You're talking. Y yes, I know. Vanessa You're talking. points and got Barry. You're talking. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's it's fine. I know I'm dreaming, but I don't recall going to bed. Well, I'm sure this is very disconcerting. This is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a bee. I am, and I'm not supposed to be doing this. Pointing to the living room where Ken tried to kill him last night. But they were all trying to kill me, and if it wasn't for you. I had to thank you. It's just how I was raised. 
Vanessa stabs her hand with a fork to test whether she's dreaming or not. That was a little weird. Slight I'm talking to a right? bee. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking to a bee. And the bee is talking to me. <laughs> I just want to say that I'm grateful. Uh, I'll leave now. Barry Wait. turns around to leave. Wait, how did you learn to do that? Barry, flying back. What? The talking thing. Uh, the same way you did, I guess. Mama, Dada, Honey, <laughs> you pick it up. That's very <laughs> funny. Yeah. Bees are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry with what we have to deal with. Anyway. Oh. Same. <laughs> Can I get you something? <laughs> like what? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Coffee? I don't want to put you out. It's no trouble. It just takes two minutes. It's just coffee. I, I hate to impose. Vanessa starts making coffee. Don't be ridiculous! Actually, I would love a cup. Hey, do you want rum cake? I shouldn't. Have some! No, I can't. I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms. Where? Th these stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Are, are you alright? No. <laughs> Vanessa, oh. pouring coffee on the floor and missing the cup completely. No. Flash <laughs> forward in time. Barry and Vanessa are sitting together at a, at a table on top of the apartment building, drinking coffee. So he's making the tie in the cab as they're flying up Madison. He finally gets there. He runs up the steps into the church. The wedding is on, and he says, Watermelon? I thought you said Guatemalan. Why would I marry a watermelon? Barry laughs, but Vanessa looks chirp. confused. <laughs> chirp, chirp. Is that a bee joke? <laughs> it's it's like... <laughs> Slurps. Oh uh, hold on. It's loading, it's loading. Oh my hold god. On. How much longer is this thing? How many pages are there? We haven't even got to the end. We haven't even tried to shoot. There's a PDF wait. Hang on. Hey, in all, in a, there's a PDF. I kept tabbing it. Oh my in god. All, in all fairness, now he's actually devoted to this. <laughs> I'm devoted too. That's the kind yeah. of stuff we do. Yeah. <laughs> Different. So what are you gonna do, Barry? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Barry stands on top of a sugar cube floating in his coffee and piles it around with a straw like it's a goggle. Why is it so About work? <laughs> I don't know. I want to do my part for the hive, but I can't do it the way they want. Is that techno? I I'm know, sorry. I, know I just hear do. slurping and that just. <laughs> you do? <laughs> Barry said. Sure. My parents wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I wanted to be a florist. Really? My only interest is flowers. Wow, what a great character development. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our new queen was just elected with that same campaign slogan. Anyway, if you look. Barry points to a tree in the middle of Central Park. That's my hive right there. See it? You're, you're in Sheep Meadow. Yes, I'm right off the Turtle Pond. I'm pretty sure there's nowhere in the Nope, Nicola. that doesn't exist. No way! Mm -hmm. I know that area. Mm -hmm. I lost a toe ring there once. Why do girls put rings on their toes? Why not? It's like putting a hat on your knee. <laughs> Maybe I'll try that. <laughs> A custodian is stalling a light bulb, looks over at them, but to his perspective, it looks like Vanessa's talking to a cup of coffee on the table. You alright, ma'am? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Just having two cups of coffee. Anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd be up for the rest of my life. Barry points toward the rum cake. Can I take a piece of this with me? Sure. Here, have a crumb. Vanessa hands Barry a crumb, but it is still pretty big for Barry. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, well, then. I guess I'll see you around, or not. Uh, okay, boomer. 
39 of this PDF. And thank you so much again for before. Hold on, I'm clicking next. Oh, that? That was nothing. Well, not nothing. But, uh, anyway. Vanessa and Barry hold hands. But Vanessa has to what? hold that off finger because her hand is too big and Barry <laughs> holds back. <laughs> the custodian looks over again and it appears Vanessa is laughing at her coffee again. The light bulb that he was screwing in sparks and he falls off the ladder. Hang on, guys. Uh, before, before, before next, do you guys want me to send the link to the PDF? No. Uh, the PDF on the same page. It's too late. Re I don't want to oh, no, I got it. I'll open it. Two B scientists testing out a parachute in a Han X1 tunnel. <laughs> this can't possibly work. <laughs> He's all set to go. We may as well try it. Okay, Dave. Pull the chute. Dave pulls the chute, and the wind slams against him. <laughs> and he falls. <laughs> The camera pans over, and we see Barry and Adam walking together. Uh, Sounds amazing. It was amazing. It was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans. I can't believe you were with humans. Giant, scary humans. Water. What were they like? Huge and crazy. They talk crazy. They eat crazy giant things. They drive crazy. Uh, do they try to kill you, like, on TV? Some of them, but some of them don't. How did you get Pack? Poodle. <laughs> you did it, and I'm glad. You saw whatever you wanted to see. You had your experience, now you can pick out your job and be normal. Well... Well... Well, I met someone. You did? Was she B-ish? A wasp? Oh, your parents will kill you! No, 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 not a wasp. Spider? I'm not attracted to spiders. I'm... I know for everyone else, it's the hottest thing, with eight legs and all. Mm. I can't get by that face. <laughs> <laughs> well, who is she? She's human. No, 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 that's a B law. You wouldn't break a B law. Her name is Vanessa. Puts his hand in his heads. Oh boy. She's so nice. And she's a florist. Oh no, you're dating a human florist? We're not dating. Mm, you're flying outside the hive, talking to humans that attack our homes with power washers and M80s. That's one eighth a stick of dynamite. She saved my life. And she understands me. This is over. Hold on. Your mom. One sec. Oh, Jesus. Who's exploding crap in here? Mm. Why is there a villager? Why is there like eight different baby <laughs> Yoda and then a villager? I don't so, know. Sorry, where are we? Where are we? Wait, secret is here. Um, we I are just said, at said, the very eat in front this. Of you, but, like... No, no, no. In the script, where are we? Yeah, yeah Barry, Barry, eat, eat this. this. If you went to the PDF, it's page 43. Okay, yeah. 43! Uh, we have a state, it's a oh, eat this! <laughs> Barry gives Adam a piece of a crumb that he got from Vanessa. Adam eats it. Adam's tone changes. This is not over. What was that? They call it a crumb. It was so stinging stripey! <laughs> and that's not what they eat. That's what falls off what they eat. You know what a Cinnabon? No. Adam opens a door behind him and he pulls Barry in. It's bread and cinnamon and frosting. Be quiet. They heat it up. Sit down. Is this like ASMR like food porn? <laughs> <laughs> Adam Barry to sit down. I've seen this movie maybe three times and I still am very concerned for what I'm reading. I, I really need to watch this again I after know. we yeah. do this, just to like, because it's just strange, it just makes me feel worried by the fact that we're doing this and I have not seen this in a way too long. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. Barry, still I'm rambling like about Cinnabons. Adult, this is going to really scare hot. me more because of, you know, some of the weird stuff that we've Adam grabs Barry by the shoulders. Listen 
to me. We are not them. We are us. There's us, and there's them. Yes, but who can deny that the heart is yearning? There is no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. You've got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B. 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 Flash forward in time. Barry is laying on a raft in a pool full of honey. He is wearing sunglasses. There he is in the pool. You know what your problem is, Barry? Barry pulls down his sunglasses and he looks annoyed. Hold on. Barry sarcastically. I gotta start thinking, B. How much longer is someone getting shot? How much longer will this go on? I'm asking myself the same question. <laughs> We're only halfway there. Halfway there. Not even. Not it's, been, it's been three days. Why aren't you working? Put sunglasses back on. I've got a lot of big life decisions to think about. What life? You have no life. You have no Sad. job. <laughs> <laughs> You're barely a B. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Barry rolls off the raft and sinks into the honey pool. Barry, come out. Your father's talking to you. Barton, would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. Hey, I'm Barry talking keeps here. sinking into the honey until he is suddenly at Central Park, having a picnic with Vanessa, playing Megalomania. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew you were going to say that. I'm going to laugh you. I have no clue what that song is. What? Barry has a cup of honey, and as he clinks his glass with Vanessa, Suddenly, a mosquito lands on Vanessa, and she slaps it, Every man killing has a it. Volume if you know how to read him. They both gasp, <laughs> burst out laughing. An awful fucking fortune. Um, where are we? You, you coming? You guys need to uh, burst out laughing. <laughs> <laughs> you coming? Same. The camera pans over, and Vanessa is climbing into a small yellow airplane. Got everything? What? All set. I wanna. I wanna. Oh, that's so <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> what the so fuck? What the fuck? Okay, okay. For the, for the people at home, someone edited the script. So after Vanessa says all set, it says, I wanna F you, Barry. <laughs> also, sub to PewDiePie and Sheep was here. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> she read it. You read it. <laughs> no, I was like, I thought I was gonna say, I thought it was like just a typo, like if and wanna. I thought it was just typo. And then I was like, and then I saw sub to PewDiePie. And I was like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like oh, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put it in both stream chat All right. and Minecraft. All right. That was really <clears> funny. Go way. ahead. I'll, I'll catch up. <laughs> Stop with the lightning. Wait, there's a donator in here who isn't. Who the hell is that? Have you seen everyone that's in Why here? Why is Valorant here? I Why can't. Oh my god. I'm losing he my flies mind. Ahead. Have you not seen the millions of baby Yoda? <laughs> well, I think they're just bees, man. I look really funny. <laughs> they're baby they're Yodas. Vanessa lips off Sorry, and flies ahead. I already, I already said Barry, that. Don't be too long. Let's, Gabby isn't there. Let's, let's get it. Barry catches up with Vanessa and he sticks out his arms like an airplane. He rolls from says. side to ear, side, ear like, I'm and an Vanessa airplane. copies him with the airplane. <laughs> Watch this! Barry stays back and watches as Vanessa draws a Can you... pink smoke from the plane. Oh but on the last loop, the loop, she suddenly crashes into a mountain and the plane explodes. Nice. The destroyed plane falls into some rocks and explodes a second time. <laughs> sugar Sugar ends when the plane blows. First, you forgot about Vanessa. There you go. As Barry is yelling, his mouth fills with honey, and he wakes up, discovering that he was just dating. He slowly sinks back into the honey pool. We're still here. Sorry, just. There's freaking lightning. I don't know who it is, but it's very loud. I think it's Valorant. Um, 
I just mute the not game. To, I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond to yelling. Then why yell at me? Because you a bitch. Oh, I was kicked from the server. Nice. Get out. Um, Nicely died. Because you don't listen. I'm not listening to this. Sorry, I've got to go. Where are you going? I'm meeting a friend. A girl? Is this why you can't decide? Bye. Barry <laughs> flies off the door <laughs> and Martin shakes his head. I just hope she's beish. That's racist. Go. Fast forward in time and Barry is sitting on Vanessa's shoulder as she is closing up her shop. They have a huge parade of flowers every year in Pasadena? Sorry, I'm... People on the server are being dumb. Just turn off your volume, my guy. I mean, this is really stupid, and I shouldn't have to. People should just uh, do this. Did you fake restart? No, I kicked I everyone was... because someone. It's uh, it's Valorant. He keeps uh, or someone. No, all of the baby yodas have lightning powers. And right. it's really loud. Well, they need so to it stop. could be any of them. It's also a power stone, possibly. Yeah. Where are we? Oh, to be in the tournament of roses. <laughs> That's every florist stream. <laughs> Up on a float, surrounded by flowers, crowds cheering. A tournament? Do the roses compete in athletic events? No, dumbass. Why are there people <laughs> even in here? This is supposed to be staff only. Yeah, there's like two of them standing on probably. me. They're all just standing on me. I don't know why. Um, yeah, people know where this no, is. No, we said where we were right. on the stream. We got, and someone just teleported me. Sorry, I was, I wanted to teleport us somewhere else, but like that didn't work. No, it didn't. Uh, okay. Why, why don't we go to the admin base? Yeah. The admin base is kind of nice. <laughs> kind of nice. Oh, we're going to the admin? And there's yeah. Yeah. B designs over here, I guess. We'll take Wait, a, are there? We'll take, a, we'll take a small baby break while we all transfer spots. So everyone Yo, goes, oh, commercial so, break. Since we're, since, we're, since we're taking a break, can I just acknowledge the fact that earlier spam like took a drink of water so you could hear him slurping and then he threw it like yeah very special in here now. do you mean like this <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that's so right. like, so much let's not teleport anyone in here right <laughs> yeah please don't teleport anyone here Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everyone, sit back down. Let's get back into this. Okay. Hold on. Oh, oh, are you making it look sexy too? Okay. Guys. There we go. Whose turn is it? Is it mine? Uh, you're no, so you all right. yours. I've got one. How come you don't fly everywhere? Uh, it's exhausting. Uh, why don't you run everywhere? It's faster. Yeah, okay, I see. I see. Alright, your turn. TiVo. You can just freeze live TV? That's insane. You don't have that? We have <laughs> HiVo, but it's a disease. It's a horrible, horrible disease. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> a human walks by. Barry narrowly avoids him. You must want to sting all those jerks. We try not to sting. It's usually fatal for us. So you just have to watch your temper. Um. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> this is a, again, this is again modified. Oh it says they walk into Nazi Germany, <laughs> but I I would assume that it's really not that. I perhaps not in the movie. Yes, <clears throat> very carefully, you kick a wall, take a walk, write an angry letter, and throw it out. Work it through like any emotion. Work through it like any emotion. Anger, jealousy, <laughs> lust. Suddenly, an employee, whose name is Hector, hits Barry off of Vanessa's shoulder. Hector thinks he's saving Vanessa. Vanessa to Barry. Oh my, wait, oh my goodness, are you okay? Barry is getting up off the floor. Yeah. 
Oh. Vanessa to Hector. What is wrong with you? Hector, who's confused. You it is bad. a bug. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bug. <laughs> He's not bothering anybody. Get out of here, you creep. Vanessa physically assaults Hector with a magazine <laughs> he had. And the head, again, assaulting him. Hector backs Damn. away, covering his head. What was that? Uh, pick and save circular? Vanessa sets Barry back on her shoulders. Yeah, it was. How'd you know? It felt like about 10 pages. 75 is pretty much our limit. You really got it. <clears throat> you really got that down to a science. Oh, we have to. I once lost a cousin to Italian. <laughs> Your mic cut out, so he was just like, I once lost I a lost cousin to Italian. Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I'll an bet. Italian killed my cousin. Oh, we are in. <laughs> Barry looks to his right and notices that Barry's honey for sale in the aisle. What in the name of mighty Hercules is this? Barry looks at all the brands of honey, shocked. How did this get here? Cute bee, wow, golden I'm blossom, shocked. Ray Liotta private select. <laughs> Barry puts his hands up and slowly turns around, a look of disgust on his face. Is that, is he that actor? I never heard of him. Why is this here? For people, we eat it. Just <laughs> 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 Everyone slowly recently edited things. Edited things, guys. We eat it Epic just game. as I want you to eat my, my booty. So booty. These are so funny. This you don't have enough food of your own? <laughs> Hector looks back and notices that Vanessa is talking to Barry. Well, yes. How do you even get it? <laughs> <laughs> make it. I know who makes it, and it's hard to make it. There's heating, cooling, stirring. You need a whole Krellman thing. It's organic. It's organic. It's just honeyberry. Just what? Bees don't know about this. This is stealing. A lot of stealing. You've taken our homes, schools, hospitals. This is all we have. And it's on sale? I'm getting to the bottom of this. I'm getting to the bottom of all of this. Flash forward in time, after Epic spans me in the Minecraft chat. <laughs> Barry paints his face with, a, with black strikes like a soldier and sneaks into the storage section at the store. Barry, Two men, including Hector, are loading boxes into some trucks. Barry? Hey, Hector. Hector. Uh, you're almost done. No, Barry just hasn't spoken in a while. I want Barry to play somebody. Almost. Oh, he's Hector now. Okay, we got oh, wait, okay. Oh. Barry takes a step to peek around the corner, whispering. He is here. I sense it. Well, I guess I'll go home now. <laughs> Hector pretends to walk away by walking in place and speaking loudly. And just leave this nice honey out with no one around? You're busted, box boy. I knew I heard something. So you can talk. I can talk, and now you'll start talking. Where are you getting the sweet stuff? Who is your supplier? I don't, I don't understand. I thought we were friends. The last thing we want to do is upset bees. What? Hector <laughs> takes a thumbtack out of the board behind him and sword fights Barry. Have you guys seen this scene? It's really Barry is using his stinger like what is a this movie? Have you seen this scene? It's, it's no. actually ridiculous. He's literally like... It's like there's like music in the background and they're like ha 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 It's like they're Lee's literally just holding a thumbtack like sword fighting with Barry Singer. <laughs> it's really Who funny. made this movie? This is uh, the world's Stone. worst movie. It's awful. We should You're watch uh, everything wrong with this after. It's ours now. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, will be lunch for my iguana, Ignacio. <laughs> Barry hits the thumbtack out of Hector's hand and Hector surrenders. <laughs> where is the honey coming from? Tell me where. I I said... Pointing to a leaving truck. Honey farms. It comes from honey farms. Barry chases after the truck, but it is getting away. He flies onto a bicyclist's so? backpack and he catches up to the truck. Car driving for the bicyclist. 
Right. Oh. Barry <laughs> flies off and lands on the windshield of the honey farm's truck. Barry looks around and sees dead bugs splattered everywhere. Gross. What horrible thing has happened here? These faces, they never knew what hit them. And now they're on the road to nowhere. Barry hears a sudden whisper. <laughs> Barry looks up and sees moose, bu- moose blood on mosquito plant dead. Just keep still. Everyone's You're not dead? Do I look dead? Then what? Anything that moves. Way ahead. To Honey Farms. <laughs> I am onto something huge here. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to Alaska. Moose blood. Crazy stuff. Blows your head off. Another bug I'm going playing to Tacoma. dead. Barry <laughs> looks at another bug. And you? He 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 is really dead. All right. Oh. Right. Bug the windshield and the drivers notice. They activate the windshield wipers. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't give it too much to the uh oh. The windshield wipers are slowly sliding <laughs> up the dead bugs and wiping. What is that? Oh no! A wiper! Triple blade! Pretty sure the- Triple blade! <laughs> Jump on! It's your only chance, B! <laughs> <laughs> Loose blood and Barry grab onto the wiper, <laughs> and they hold as it wipes the windshield. Why does everything have to be so doggone clean? How much do you people need to see? <laughs> Sorry, Open your eyes! <laughs> Stick your head out the window! Thank you. Radio and truck. From NPR News in Washington, I'm Carl Cassell. But don't kill no more bugs. Mouse blood and or moose blood and Barry <laughs> whipper fluid. <laughs> moose blood guy. Barry starts <laughs> screaming as he hangs onto the antenna. <laughs> 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 Suddenly, it is revealed that a water bug is also hanging. There is a pause. You hear something? Yeah, and then Barry pause. and the water both start screaming. And the water, the water is screaming. <laughs> Here, let me help you. And the that. water bug. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> like so much water I'm right screaming. Turn off the radio. <laughs> <laughs> when, the, when the hell did you become Russian? Turn off the radio, camera. Turn off the radio. You guys watch Antenna everything wrong. starts run. to lower. You gotta watch everything wrong with the radio. Too movie. low and sinks into the truck. The water bug flies off, and Barry is let go, and he is blown away. He luckily lands inside a horn on top of the truck, where he finds his blood he was blown into the same place. What's up, B boy? Hey, blood. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, bitch boy? Fast forward in time again, you see that Barry is deep in conversation with Moose Blood. They've been sitting in this truck for a while. Just a row of honey jars, as far as the eye could see. Wow. I assume wherever this truck goes is where they're getting it. I mean, that honey is ours. Be same tight. We're all jammed in. It's a close community. Yes, jammed man. In. We're on our own. Every mosquito on his own. Moose blood. What if you get in trouble? <laughs> you, a mos- you a mosquito, you in trouble. Nobody likes us. They just smack, see a mosquito, smack, smack. At least you're out in the world. Smack, smack. You must meet girls. Mosquito girls, sorry. Mosquito girls try and trade up, get with a moth, dragon shot. Mosquito girl don't want no mosquito. The ambulance it? passes by and has a blood donation sign on it. Sorry, I want to Google something real quick. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I just Googled like black people. <laughs> I think Chris Rock played Moose Blood. The Rock? No, it Wait. was Chris Rock. No, Chris. Oh, is that what you said? Not the Rock. Yeah, I think. No, yeah. I, I like how like I followed Rock, up by yeah. not the Rock, Chris Rock, and you're like, that's what I said. Moose Blood's about to leave the building. So long, B. Moose Blood fl- leaves and flies onto the. Hang up. Before we continue, real quick. Just a heads up, dragonflies eat mosquitoes, so any mosquito <laughs> girl that tries to trade up. <laughs> eat. Oh. Cute. Oh, hold on, can we pause? Jenna, can you send the uh, stream link? In-game. Someone's asking. Yeah, okay. 
Let's, not, let's be on dark control. All right, where were we? Other mosquito. Moose blood! <laughs> she <laughs> gave me a sunflower. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I can't show down here. Did you bring your crazy straw? <laughs> what? Move back to the, the truck goes out of view. Barry notices the truck is on. Is piling into a camp of some sort. It says pulling, but we throw it in a we throw it in a jar, <laughs> slap a label on it, it's pretty much pure profit. Barry flies out. No way. This is insane. What is this place? A bee's got a brain the size of a pinhead. They are pinheads. Pinhead. Check out the new smoker. Check out the new smoker. Yeah. Oh sweet. No way. <laughs> That's what when you happened, want Dave. the Thomas 3000. Smoker? 90 puffs a minute. <laughs> Semi-automatic. Twice the nicotine. <laughs> All the tar. <laughs> 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 is this a vape? <laughs> it's not, this isn't in the movie. That's not the script. A couple press of this knocks him right out. Okay, we're back to the regular script. Yeah. I'm, pretty <laughs> sure, I'm pretty sure this was a part of the movie. No, I don't, I don't, I don't think, think the totally. part. Totally. I don't think they the pie, though. That was that was my favorite part of the movie. <laughs> oh my god. That's Germany, man. I want to f you. <laughs> well, I heard a just a minute ago, so. <laughs> All right. They make honey and we make the money. Oh. They make money, honey, and we make the money. The beekeeper sprays hundreds of cheap miniature apartments with a smoker. The bees are fainting or passing out. This is oh my! What's going on? Are, are you okay? The Barry word? flies yeah, into one of the apartment no. and helps a bee couple get off the. They're coughing and it's the hard worst to part about this is that like this stuff is actually in the movie. It's <laughs> 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 a nasty Germany joke, but oh man, that's hard to think of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it doesn't last too long. But, but you know yeah, why you're in a fake long. big walls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 do that. Uh, Our queen was sorry. moved here. <laughs> we had no choice. I did. Oh, I didn't hear you. Yeah, you were making the uh, vape joke. Yeah. yeah of course yeah. it was. <laughs> oh, the apartment room is empty, except for a photo on the wall of the queen, who is obviously a man in women's clothes. <laughs> Like this is in the This movie. is your queen? That's a man in woman's clothes. That's a, drag queen. I don't want to say that. That's a drag queen. What is this? <laughs> I don't want to say that. It says it Topical, right? Comedy gold. Barry flies out <laughs> he and he discovers that there are hundreds of housing thousands of bees. This movie is from oh, no. 13 years There's ago. hundreds of them. Barry takes out his camera and takes pictures of these bee work camps. The beekeepers look very these depictions. Bee honey. Our honey is being brazenly stolen on a massive scale. This is worse than anything bears have done. I intend to do something. Flash forward in time. Again. Barry is showing these pictures to his parents. Oh, but hey, what the heck was that sound? Oh, Barry, stop. Who told you you humans are talking on money? That's a rumor. Do these look like rumors? Hold That's a conspiracy the theory. These are obviously doctored photos. You have to be like, That's a conspiracy theory! <laughs> oh my <son. laughs> how, did, yes. how did you get mixed up in this? He's been talking to humans. WHAT?! Talking <laughs> to humans?! <laughs> he has a human girlfriend! And they make out! Make out?! How? Barry! <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <clears throat> well, yes, we, do not. <laughs> we do not! We do not! Where's you good? <laughs> Whose side are you on? The bees! Oh. Uncle Carl, who has been sitting in the back of the room this entire time. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I gave a cricket once in San Antonio. Those crazy legs kept me up all night. Barry! <laughs> what? Is this what you want to do with your life? I want to do it for all of our lives. Nobody works harder than bees. Dad, I remember you coming home so overworked, your hands were still stirring. You couldn't stop. I remember that. 
Hmm. What right do they have to our honey? We live on two cups a year. They put it in lip balm for no reason whatsoever. Even if it's true, what can one bee do? Sting them where it really hurts. In the face, the eye, that would hurt. No. <laughs> Up the nose, not to kill her. There's only one place you can sting the human. One place where it matters. <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> what is that, Traveler Alert? This is your most killer team star. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, I got this. <laughs> I'll, I'll get to it in a second. Let me just set this because this is going to be good. You can say that. You can say that. That's appropriate. Yeah, that's, that's okay to say. Yeah. Flash forward a bit in time, and we are watching the B News. Yes! <laughs> I, was, I knew it. I was waiting for it. Serious trouble will bypass you. What the? <laughs> what the... Wait, that's okay. actually in the... going. Keep going. <laughs> did you not see that? I did yes. not. I just said be news narrator, but it actually has. What is yes. your trouble with I'm your host, Garrett Keemstar. Let's go right. Fat <laughs> right into the news. When did Killer Keemstar turn into Mickey Mouse? Mickey Mouse. <laughs> 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 No more bee beards. What? <laughs> Bob Bumble at the anchor desk. With, with Bob Bumble at the anchor desk, weather what, with, with Storm Stinger. Stinger. Oh my God. Sports with Buzz Larvey and Jeanette Chung. Good evening. I'm Bob Bumble. And I'm Jeanette Chung. It's your <clears throat> bee, Barry Benson, intends to sue the human race for stealing our honey, pack packaging it, and profiting from it illegally. Tomorrow night on Be Larry King, this is, uh, is we'll have three former queens here in our studio discussing their new book, Classy Ladies, out there, <laughs> out this, <laughs> out this week on Hexagon. The scene changes to an interview on the news with B, the version of Larry King and Barry. Tonight we're talking to Barry Benson. Thank God. You ever think I'm just a kid from the hive? I can't do this. Bees have never been afraid to change the world. What no. about B. Columbus? Seems B. Gandhi? B. Jesus? Oh my god. <laughs> but Jesus. Where I'm from, we never sue humans. We were thinking of stick ball or candy stores. How old are you? The B community is supporting you in this case, which will be the trial of the B century. You know, they have a Larry King in the human world too. It's a common name. Next week. No, it's not. He looks like you and has a show. Spender. Dot. Next week. The glasses, quotes on the bottom from the guest, even though you just heard them. Their week next week. They're scary. Harry in here, live. B. Larry King gets annoyed. Flies the way off screen. Always lean forward. Pointy shoulders. Squinty eyes. Very Jewish. Very Jewish. <laughs> Flash forward in time. Oh, we see Vanessa enter. Ken enters Epic, behind her. Please. They are <laughs> arguing. Oh, no. Don't do it. Intanish your tank. It's point of weakness. <laughs> it was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. Honey, her backhand's a joke. I'm not gonna take advantage of that. Barry to Ken. Quiet, please. Actual work going on here. Ken pointing at Barry. Is that the same bee? <laughs> Implying that she's spoken to other bees? Uh, yes, it is. I'm helping him sue the human race. Hello. Hello, B. This is Ken. Barry, recalling the winter boots incident earlier. Yeah, I remember you. Timberland, size ten and a half. Vibrant soul, I okay, believe. I didn't even know Ooh. that Timberlands were a thing in 2007. <laughs> what? Ten, two, it was ten and a half. That's tiny. Why does he talk again? Listen, you better go, because we're really busy working. Friend zone. I guess you could say they're as busy as a bee. Bye -bye. Vanessa holding the door open bye, for Ken. Bye, bye. Ken yelling. Why is yogurt night so difficult? Ken leaves and Vanessa walks over the bear. His workplace is a mess. You poor thing. You two have been at this for hours. Yes, and Adam here has been such a huge help. Frosting. How many sugars? Just one. 
I try not to use the competition. So why are you helping me? Peace have good qualities. What? Uh, and it <laughs> takes my mind off the shop. Instead of flowers, people are giving balloon. Uh, instead of flowers, people are giving balloon bouquets now. Those are great if you're three. And artificial flowers. Oh, those just get me psychotic. Yeah, me too. Talking to a bee. Bent stingers. Pointless pollu pollution. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Pollination. <laughs> Sorry, the words are starting to start. You're kidding. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Oh my god. Alright, okay. we can make it through this. Like, make, I want to make it to <laughs> court. Bent stingers. Pointless pollination. Bees must hate those fake things. Nothing worse than a daffodil that's hard that's had work done. Maybe this can make up for it a little bit. <laughs> Fucking whoever's drinking. This lawsuit's a pretty big deal. <laughs> I guess. You sure you want to go through with it? Am I sure? When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, Honey, I'm home without paying a royalty. Flash forward in time again. We are watching the human news. <laughs> the camera shows a crowd outside the courthouse. It's an incredible, incredible scene, scene down here, here in right. downtown Manhattan. You do it. <laughs> where the world anxiously waits. Because for the first time in history, we will hear for ourselves if a honeybee can actually speak. We are no longer watching through a news camera. <laughs> what have we into here, Barry? Oh my god, Gabby. Yeah, it's pretty big, I isn't think it? Was just why is it there? We are no longer watching through a news camera. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, looking at the hundreds of people at the courthouse. Oh, I can't believe how many humans don't work during the day. <laughs> Billion dollar multinational food companies have good lawyers. Um, yeah, everybody needs to stay behind the barricade. A woman <laughs> drives up. A fat man, security guard. Leighton Montgomery, a honey industry owner, gets out and walks past Barry. What's the matter? I don't know. I just gotta chill. Another fast forward in time, and everyone is in the court. While I finish hey. it, <laughs> while okay. I finish it, the BT. Wait, 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 wait. Guys, 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 What's guys, out, Gabe? Yeah. Huh? Let's like get Barry get a little bit. He he's barely read anything. Mm -hmm. Does wait? Does Barry want to be the Montgomery? judge? Let's make him, yeah, let's make him be Montgomery. Well, he hasn't no, been, I he can hasn't do Montgomery, and he can do judge. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Sound yeah, good. Fun. Okay. Well, if it isn't the B team. Oh. Two what? Honey industry. Yikes. You boys work on this. All right, the honorable Judge Bumbleton presiding. Why does everything got to be you? country with you? I know, right? This is not a it girl, is? is it? The judge just, is a girl, just, yeah. yeah, yeah Alright, case number four, Jesus, 4475, Superior Court of New York, uh, Barry B. Benson versus the honey industry is now in session. Mr. McGunnery, yours, the, the five food companies collectively. Privilege. Uh, a privilege. <laughs> uh, Mr. Benson, you're representing all of the bees in the world? Everyone looks closely. They're waiting to see. This guy is losing her. Talk. <laughs> several buzzing sounds to sound like a bee. No, no, I'm kidding. Yes, Your Honor. We're ready to proceed. Uh, sorry, I'm looking at my phone. Judge is busy. Oh, sorry, yeah. Was that in the line? Sorry, I'm looking at my phone. Wait, where are we? <laughs> Wait, it's not even. It's still. Oh, well, okay. Look at it. It's not. I. How am I supposed to see that, Mr. Montgomery? Your opening statement, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, eyes. my grandmother was a simple woman, born on a farm. She believed it was man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. We lived in the toupee turvy world, Mr. Benson imagines. Just think of what what it would mean. I would have to negotiate with with the silkworm for. The elastic to in my britches. <laughs> looks over and looks closely at Barry. How do we know this isn't some sort of holographic motion picture capture Hollywood wizardry? I'm gonna give you props me. to saying that entire thing without stuttering, cause robotics. All we know, he could be on steroids. Mr. Benson. 
ladies and gentlemen, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. Honey is pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it. And we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take it from us just because we're the little guys. I'm hoping that after this is all over, you'll see how by taking our honey, you not only take everything we have, but everything we are. Janet to Martin. I wish he dressed like that all the time. God damn it. I'm getting so many Facebook notifications. I wanted to stop. Turn off your phone and look at the script, the woman. I just read it. I wish he dressed like that all the time. So no. Oh, okay, I've turned around. Is this server running down? So, Mr. Klaus <laughs> van der Hayden of Honey Farms. Is the server big company running you have. Dan? What is that? <laughs> what? What is that even from? Okay, who, who's Klaus? Klaus. Klaus. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this moment to, uh, to say that I gotta head out. You gotta out. go, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, I'd say, we'll again, do like, we could... Over time, and I'm like, dude! Yeah. We could do like here. we could do like two more pages, and then I think. Oh we're no! I thought call. we were gonna try to make it to the end, but okay. It's been an hour and a half. It's not I'll, like the, I'll, I'll really the movie is only like an hour and a half long. Yeah, it's I because it's been more pages. Fifty <laughs> more. We're not making through this. Man. Okay, let's make it up until just after this court scene, and I think we're gonna we're gonna call it. Actually, we're closer to- we're past- oh, yeah, we've got- yeah, okay, never mind. There's, there's like a lot more in the court. We've got a lot left. Yeah. Well, how about we, uh, we ask- I don't know. Should we ask the players what they want? Yeah, sure. Right. So we're on page- to the 12, 12 people I, I watching, I, would you like us to- We're on page you. 71 out of 120. I'm pretty sure. Oh! It's actually not that bad. I'm, I'm so, pretty sure they derive pleasure in our pain. <laughs> not gonna- <laughs> not gonna <laughs> Yeah, that sounds about right. Sadist. Jenna, when do you work today? Six. Oh, well, we can get done before six. Yeah, but well, does everyone else want to sit here for another hour? Like, I mean, I, 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 I don't care. I yeah. You know. Oh, if you yeah, guys like to pass on that, that you'd I've like to pass skip. all of our and Tony here. They're not staff. Star said you have. How to do they read even get all? here? How did Oliver? I like how they're hiding they... from my view behind that chair. Wait, how did they get here? Did they... Um, Look at Oliver. Exactly get in. Do you see Tony just books it? <laughs> He's like, no, please, no. <laughs> oh. Get him! Is he AFK crouched? Hello? Let's just take him out. Sorry, no, I, no, stop. I got this. My, dis my Discord crashed. That's okay. Wait, but then how are you still talking? Why is he not falling? Why is he, I why is he just stuck back? like this? <laughs> oh. uh, Tony's helping too. Everyone beat up Oliver. Oliver. All of you. Jesus. Wait, yeah, I can do he, it. Is he in God? Crab, get out, get out. Where'd get he out. go? Guys, get out, get out. I'm no, he's in there, leave him. Oh, okay. We should get, what, are, what are people saying? <laughs> Think, uh, you like jazz? <laughs> <laughs> you like jazz? Um, alright, alright. People said they want so, us to continue. Oh man. Alright. If you've been recording right. this, um... Yeah. Then cut it and do a full video. Read all of it. Big funny. Okay, I guess we're gonna read all of it. So, Mr. Klaus van der Hayden of Honey Farms. Big company you have. I suppose so. <laughs> I see you also own Honey Burton and Hanron. Yes, they Hanron. provide beekeepers for our farms. Beekeeper. I find that to be a very disturbing term. I don't imagine you employ any bee freers, do you? <laughs> no. I couldn't hear you. No. 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 <laughs> because you don't free bees, you keep bees. Not only that, it seems you thought a bear would be an appropriate image for a jar of honey. They're very lovable creatures. Yogi Bear, Fuzzy Bear, Build a Bear, your mom. You mean <laughs> Got him. You mean like this? I don't 
sounds, I guess. <laughs> the bear from over the hedge barges in through the. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? That can't be right. right. <laughs> that sounded like Donald Duck. The bear is standing on its hind legs and is scratching its claws, and people are screaming. It is held is being held back by a guard who has the bear on a chain, pointing to the roaring bear. Bears, bear. bees. They do. What? How do you like his head <laughs> crashing through your living room? Biting into your couch, spitting out your throw pillows. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Take him away. Sorry, my sister's like bothering me. Texting you. The yeah. guy stops roaring and thrashing and walks out. Tell her to watch the stream. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Sting, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me. Where have I heard it before? Very. I was with a band called the police. But you've never been a police officer, have you? Yeah. No, I haven't. <laughs> no, you haven't. And so here we have yet another example of bee culture casually stolen by a human for nothing more than a prance about stage name. Oh, please. Have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung, Sting. Or should I say, what? Mr. Gordon M. Summer. Summer. That's not his real name, you idiots. Mr. Leota, first, belated congratulations on your Emmy win for a guest spot on ER in 2005. Thank you, thank you. I see from your resume that you're devilishly handsome with a churring inner turmoil that's ready to blow. What? I enjoy what I do, is that a crime? Not yet, it isn't. But is this what's to come to you? What's what's to come to... This is going to too much. <laughs> 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 but is this what it's come to for you? Exploiting tiny, helpless bees so you don't have to rehearse your part and learn your lines, sir? Watch it, Benson. I could blow you right now. Oh my That's God. not mine. <laughs> 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 oh my God. <laughs> there's Ooh, no, I could there's, blow you right now. There's no you in there. I thought maybe he's like they changed it again. I think no, his subconscious feelings hey. are just coming through. <laughs> Freudian slip. I add words where they don't need to be. And yeah, it's called a Freudian sl slip. <clears throat> This isn't a good fella. This is a bad fella. Ray Leota. <laughs> Ray Leota loses it and tries to grab Barry. Why doesn't some, someone just step on this creep and we can all go home? Sorry, Oliver is... Order in this court. Alright. You're all thinking it. Judge Why do you Bumble sound like Trump? That was the point. Judge Bumbleton starts banging her gavel. Yes, because that is a gavel. Sorry. Order. That's what Order. a gavel sounds like. Say it. Order. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Mr. Linton, please sit down. Miss Loda, no. I can't read. Loda. <laughs> we see a montage of magazines which feature the court case. Flash forward in time and Barry's back home with Vanessa. I think it was awfully nice of that bear to pitch in like that. <sighs> I think the jury's on our side. Oh no. Are we doing everything right, you know, legally? I'm a florist. Right. Well, here's to a great team. To a great team. Ken walks in from work. He sees Barry and looks upset when he's, he sees Barry clinking his glass with Vanessa. Well, hello. Oh, <laughs> Ken. Hello. Uh, I didn't think you were coming. No, this I was just... What? No, this is Ken. Wait, what? Hard. I didn't think you are coming. No, I was just late. I tried to call, but... Wait, maybe he doesn't. Uh, I think that's still... Jenna. Oh, sorry. My bad, my bad. It looks like it. Wait. Just keep going. I tried no, to it, it makes sense. Ken you're like, holds you're like up stuttering. his phone and flips... The phone oh. has no, no charge. No, I was just late. Oh. I tried to call, but... Ken holds up his phone and flips it open. The phone has no charge. The battery. <laughs> I didn't want all this to go to waste, so I called Barry. Luckily... He's always free because he's a loser. Oh, guess Same, oh, dude. Oh, that was lucky. Ken sits down at the table, across from Barry and Vanessa. He's, and Vanessa leaves the room. Ken! 
then Barry was wait no. Nice. Barry... I said that I messed up. There's a little left. That's where it is. Where? Ooh. Well, now I'm confused. You say there's a little left. Oh, I am saying my. Yeah, you're lying. Okay. Uh, I'm lost. I'm lost. There's, there's a little, a little left. left. I could heat it up. Not taking his eye off Bear. Eyes off Barry. Yeah, heat it up. Sure. Whatever. So, I hear you're quite a tennis player. I'm not much for the game myself. The ball's a little grabby. That's where I usually sit. Right? Points to where Barry's sitting. Uh... Terror. <laughs> Ken! Excuse me. Barry was looking okay. at your resume, and he agreed with that eating with chops is, isn't really a special skill. <laughs> you really think I don't see what you're doing? I know how hard it is to find the right job. We have that in common. Do we? Bees have 100% employment. <laughs> we do jobs like taking the crud out. Menacingly. Menacingly. That's just what I was thinking about doing. Ken reaches for a fork on the table, but knocks it. If on the floor, knocks it. Okay, I'm going to reread that. <laughs> we need to spam back. On the table, but, it, but it knocks it on the floor. He goes to pick it Kent up. Ken reaches for a fork on the table, but knocks it if on the f what? I mean, it's fucked up anyways, right? I know. I he goes really to pick it up. Like, Wait, it. Ken, I let Barry borrow your razor for his fuss. I hope that was all right. Ken quickly raises, rises back up after hearing this, but hits his head on the table and yells. Ah. I'm going to drain this old stinger. Yeah. You Is he talking that. about going into the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, his little, his little bee peen. <laughs> okay. Whoa! Into the bathroom and Ken freaks out, splashing some of the wine he was using to cool his. Wait, some of the wine he was using to cool his head and his eyes. What? I don't know. I'm just gonna read how it is. I'm he so yells confused. in anger. Barry looks at the magazines featuring his victories in court. Look at that. Barry flies into the bathroom. He puts his he puts his hand on his head, but makes did this makes him hurt? Can someone else? Okay, I'll read it. <laughs> this <laughs> makes hurts him and makes him even madder. He yells again. Barry is washing his hands in the sink, and but then Ken walks in. You know, you know, I've just about had it. Closes bathroom door behind him. With your little mind, the games. Ken is menacingly rolling up a magazine. Menacing. Ba Barry wow. backing away. Italian Vogue. <laughs> Mamma mia! That's a lot of pages. It's a lot of ads. Remember when Van said, Why is your life more valuable than mine? That's funny. I just can't seem to recall that. Ken smashes everything off the sink with the magazine and barely, barely narrowly escapes. Ken follows Barry around and tries to hit him with the magazine, but he keeps missing. Ken gets a spray bottle. I think someone stinks in here. Enjoying the spray. I love the smell of flowers. Ken holds a lighter in front of the spray <laughs> bottle. Please yell this. How do you like the smell of flames? Not as much. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ken fires his makeshift flamethrower with Mrs. Barry, burning the bathroom. He torches the whole room, but loses his fo footing and falls into the bathtub after getting hit in the head with falling objects three times. He picks up the shower head, revealing a water bug hiding under it. Oh, Jesus Water bugs, Christ. Can I <laughs> Barry gets up. <laughs> Barry gets up out of a pile of the bathroom supplies, and he is wearing a chapstick hat. Ken, I'm wearing a chapstick hat. This is pathetic. No shit. The <laughs> Ken switches the low to the lower head to lethal. I've got issues. <laughs> yeah. Again, no shit. Ken sprays Barry with the shower head as he crash lands into the toilet. Ken Hang menacingly, on. Ken looks, menacingly into <laughs> looks down into the toilet at Barry. Well, well, well. A royal flush. <laughs> You're bluffing. Am I? flushes the toilet. <laughs> Barry grabs a chapstick from the toilet seat <laughs> and uses it to surf in the flushing toilet. Surf's up, dude. <laughs> Ew, Barry poo water! Barry flies out of the toilet <laughs> and the chapstick... 
Ew! Blue water! No, That's actually in the script. That's the worst part. No, it's it's me. No, it's, no, me. it's Ken. It's Ken. I know, but it's in his face. Oh, yeah, no, I know, right, but it's right. but it's actually in the script. Oh no, I know it's in the movie. I was just correcting Snazzy. Ew! Pure water. That bowl is gnarly. <laughs> Ken aiming a toilet cleaner at Barry. Except for those dirty yellow rings. Barry covers, and covers his head, and Vanessa runs in and takes the toilet cleaner from Ken just before he hits Barry. Kenneth, what are you doing? Ken leading towards Barry. You know I don't even like honey. I don't eat it. We need to talk. <laughs> Vanessa pulls Ken out of the bathroom. He's just a little bee, and he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. Long time? What are you talking about? Are there, are there bugs in your life? No, but there are other things bugging me in my life, and you're one of them. Oh. Oh. Fine. Talking bees, no yogurt night. My nerves are fried from riding on this emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. Epic got rejected from by Gabby. <laughs> Ken huffs Naughty. and walks out <laughs> and slams the door. But suddenly he walks back in and stares at Barry. This is Ken. Oh. And for your information, I prefer sugar free artificial sweeteners made by man. <laughs> Ken leaves again and Vanessa leans in towards Barry. I'm sorry about all that. Ken walks back in again. <laughs> I know it's got an aftertaste. I like it. Ken leaves for the last time. At least we know it's the last time. The script says so. <laughs> it always felt like there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me. Wouldn't it be... Yeah, it is Ken and me. I couldn't overcome it. Oh, well. Are you okay for the trial? I believe Mr. Montgomery is about out of idea. Flash forward in time, and Barry, Adam, and Vanessa are back in court. Adam. We would all like to call Mr. Barry Benson to the stand. <gasps> Good idea. You can really see why he's considered one of the best lawyers. Barry stares at Adam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dick. Screw <laughs> <laughs> you, Adam. Layton, Love you've too, gotten... Man. No homo. <laughs> you've got a week of magic no with this jury, or it's going to be all over. Don't worry. The only thing I have to do is turn this jury around is to remind them of what lawyer they don't like about bees. Two lawyer. What? Yeah. You got the tweezers. <laughs> Are you allergic? What's <laughs> happening to this reading? Oh, only to losing, son. Only to losing. Mr. Benson B. I'll ask you what I think we'd li all like to know. What exactly is your relationship? Points to Vanessa. To that woman. <laughs> We're friends. Good friends? <laughs> yes, yes, we like jazz. <laughs> we like jazz. We love jazz. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I just actually looked down. Okay. How good? Do you live together? Wait, Wait a minute. Are you her little bed bug? <clears throat> Adam's stinger starts vibrating. He is agitated. <laughs> I've, seen a, I've seen a bee documentary or two. From what I understand, doesn't your queen give birth to all the bee children? Yeah, but... Pointing at Janet and Martin. So those aren't your real parents. Oh, Barry. Yes, they are. Hold me back. <laughs> Vanessa, Vanessa take my earrings. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa tries to hold Adam back. He wants to sting Montgomery. You're an illegitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? He's denouncing bees. Don't y'all date your cousins? <laughs> Where's the line? <laughs> Montgomery leans over on the jury stand and stares at Adam. Objection. Vanessa raises her hand to, uh, to object, but Adam gets free. He flies straight at Montgomery. I'm gonna bring cussing this guy! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Snaz. Adam, don't! It's what he wants! Adam, Adam stings Montgomery in the butt, and he starts thrashing around. Mm. Oh, I'm hit! Oh lordy, I'm hit! 
banging gavel. Order! Order! <laughs> I have chopsticks. Overreacting. The venom. The venom is coursing through my veins. I have been felled by a winged beast of destruction. You see, you can't treat them like equals. They're striped as savages. Stringing, stinging is the only way, the only thing they know. It's their way. Adam, stay with me. Oh, I'm <laughs> <my> legs. <laughs> Overreacting and throwing his body around the room. What an angel of mercy will come forward to suck the poison from my eating so <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> I will have an XXX. Oh, don't film in this recorder. Order, please. Please. <laughs> Where are we? Oh, Where are we? Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we? in Nazi Germany. <laughs> I think we should. Oh, no. I, think, I think we should look for like. I think we should look for like scripts that have been like purposely edited with random things and just read them all the way. Oh, yeah. my, god. oh my god! Do this you want to get sight? I don't want to do that now, but um. Anyways, Can the case of the of honeybees versus the <laughs> USSR took a pointed <laughs> turn against the bees yesterday when one of their legal team uh, stung Leighton T. Montgomery. Adam is laying in a hospital bed, and Barry flies in to see him. Hey, buddy. Hey. Oh. Is there much pain? Yeah, I blew the whole case, didn't I? I forgot to stutter, I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. <laughs> what matters is you're alive. You could have died. I'd be better off dead. I'm an Ed's lord. <laughs> a small plastic sword is replaced as Adam's stinger. They got it from the cafeteria downstairs in a tuna sandwich. <laughs> Look. There's still a little celery still on it. <laughs> <laughs> Flicks off the celery in size. What was it like to sting someone? I refuse to read this. Look at the last part. <laughs> you got it. You got it. <laughs> oh, Wait, where are we? I can't. Ex I can't explain it. It was all, all the adrenaline, and then, and then ecstasy. That is actually in the script. <laughs> all uh, right. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable saying it either way. You think it was all a trap? Of course. I'm sorry, I flew us right into- What were we thinking? Look at us. We're just a couple of bugs in this world. What will the humans do to us if they win? I don't know. Shoo. I hear they put the roaches in motels. That doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't check out. Oh my. Coughs. Wow, thank <laughs> I'm you. sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> Could you get a nurse to close that window? Why? The smoke. We can see that two <laughs> humans are smoking cigarettes outside. <laughs> read it, read it. <laughs> see it. These see don't it. smoke tobacco. We smoke pot. <laughs> right. Jenna? Don't smoke. <laughs> Bees don't smoke, but some are smoking. That's it. That's our case. It is? It's not over? Get dressed. I've got to go somewhere. Get back to court and stall. Stall any way you can. Flash forward in oh time, my God, and realize. Adam is making a paper boat in the courtroom. And assuming you've done step 29 correctly, you're ready for the tub. <laughs> <laughs> we see that the jury have each made their own paper boats. After being taught how by Adam, they all look confused. Mr. Flamen. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Where is the rest of your team? Continue stalling. Well, Your Honor, it's interesting. Bees are trained to fly... I don't know how to say that. Fly haphazardously. As a result... <laughs> haphazardly. Haphazardly. <laughs> haphazardly. I don't fucking know. As a result, we don't make very good time. I actually heard a funny story about... Your, your Honor, haven't these ridiculous bugs taken up enough of this court's valuable time? How much longer will we allow these absurd shenanigans to go on? They have presented no compelling evidence to support their charges against my clients, who run legitimate business. I move for a complete dismissal for this entire case. I like how Barry is the only one who can actually read correctly. Here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stupid. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Um, Mr. Flamen, I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montgomery's motion. But uh. you can't. We have a terrific case. <laughs> I almost threw up. Where is your proof? On your Where mic. is your evidence? Yeah. Show me the smoking gun. Barry, Barry flies, flies in through the- 
Hold it, Your Honor. You want a smoking gun? Here is your smoking gun. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa walks this? in and pulls out an AK-47 and shoots up the courtroom. <laughs> I'm not saying that other thing because that's racist, but she says something and then, what is that? It doesn't say that for me. It just says Vanessa on my screen. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's all I see too. It says. Uh, oh, no, I, see, I, see what, I see what. I see what. I see what. You know what it says, and you know why I'm not saying it. Right. It's a I'm bee smoker. Like, picks up the remains of the jury. <laughs> What? This this harmless little contraption? This couldn't hurt a fly, let alone a bee. <laughs> Montgomery <laughs> accidentally fires it at the at the bees in the crowd and they faint and cough. Dozens of reporters start taking pictures of the suffering bees. <laughs> Look at what has happened to bees who have never been asked, smoking or none. Is this what nature intended for us? To be forcibly <clears throat> forcibly addicted to smoke machines <laughs> and <clears throat> and man made wooden slat work camps. Living out our honey living out our lives as honey slaves to the white man. <laughs> someone someone read this. I have to do something real quick. Um, point to the honey industry owners. One of them is an African American, so he awkwardly separates himself from the other. Is that in the movie? Yeah. There's yeah. no way that's in the movie. It is. It is. <laughs> from the white man. And then he's like, uh, away. and then he scoots away. It's really funny. Um, what are you gonna do? Right. He's playing the species card. Oh. Oh Ladies my and gentlemen, God. please. That's free actually, this is actually bees. in the movie. Free the bees. <laughs> free the bees. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. After the bees. <laughs> the court finds in favor of the bees. What the heck? Vanessa, right, we won. I know you can do it. High five. Oh my God. Vanessa. So it's very hard because your hand is too big. Sorry. Overjoyed. I'm okay. You know what this means? All the honey will finally belong to the bees. Now we won't have to work so hard all the time. This is an unholy per perverse perversion. Perversion? Of the, of the balance of nature, Benson. You'll regret this. Oh, Jenna, you were wrong. Montgomery leaves and Barry goes outside the courtroom. Several reporters start asking Barry questions. Barry, how much honey is out there? All right, all right, one at a time. Barry, Barry who what are you? Who are you Sorry. wearing? Who are you wearing? What the? And fuck? I have no. <laughs> <laughs> my what? my sweater is Ralph Lauren, and I have no pants. <laughs> That's awesome. What? Um, Barry what? flies outside with a paparazzi, and Adam and Vanessa stay back. Adam to Vanessa. What if Montgomery's right? <coughs> <laughs> <coughs> what do you mean? <coughs> We've been living the B way for a long time, 27 million years. Flash forward in time, and Barry is talking to a man. <laughs> oh, no. Congratulations on your victory. What will you demand a settlement? First, we'll demand a complete shutdown of all. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Oh, no. As Barry is talking, we see a monument of putting closed tapes over work camps and freeing the bees in the crappy apartments. Then, we We're want not, not back this. the honey that was ours to begin with. Every last drop. Men in suits Men are pushing suits. all the honey of the, <clears throat> of the aisles into carts. We demand an end to the glorification of the bear as anything more. We will. We see a statue of a bear-shaped honey container being pulled down by the bees. Then a filthy, smelly, bad breath stink machine. <laughs> what? We're all aware of what they do in the woods. We see Winnie the Pooh sharing his honey with Piglet in the crosshairs of a high-tech sniper rifle. Is that, I think that is actually in the movie. That is in the movie, yes. And then he's like, Barry, yeah, wait for signal. Barry yeah, there it is. Looking through binoculars. Take me away from my West signal. Virginia, <laughs> <laughs> when he gets hit in D's nuts. When he gets hit by D's nuts. 
<laughs> Dark. Automatically <laughs> falls off the log he was standing on, his tongue hanging out. Piglet looks at Pooh in fear, and the sniper takes the honey. <clears throat> he'll have nausea for a few hours, but he'll be fine. <laughs> Flash forward in time. I want to know. And... <laughs> I, I need on. to know who approved this movie. <laughs> how is this on a legitimate script? How, oh, yeah. how, how, is, the, how is any <laughs> of this script <laughs> real? <laughs> how, did, how did this movie happen? Mr. Sting is sitting at home a, until he is taken fails. out of his house by men in suits. <laughs> but it's just a prance name. Uh, a prance about stage name. I can see why this movie won nominations. This is amazing. <laughs> Unnecessary inclusion of honey in bogus health products. Uh, and a la di da human tea time snack garnishments. An old lady an is old, mixing oh, honey into sorry. her tea, but suddenly men in suits smash her face out on the table and take the money. Or the honey. Can't breathe. A honey <sighs> truck pulls up to Barry's hive. Bring it in, boys. Hold it right there. Good. Tap it. This Tons sounds. Honey being <laughs> <to the> <laughs> honey That's what she said. From the cup. <laughs> Get out. Mr. Buzzwell. Go ahead. Buzzwell, we just have three cups. And there's gallons more coming. I think we need to shut down. Shut down. We've never shut down. This is dying rapidly. Shut down honey production. Oh. Why? This script is so weirdly formatted. I know. This is what we get. Stop making honey! The bees leave their situations, stations. Wow. Two bees run into a room and they pull the keys into, and they put keys into the machine. Turn your key, sir! The worker bees dramatically turn their keys, which opens the button, which they press, shutting down the bee making machines. Uh, we're gonna pretend. Shut up. This is the first time this has ever happened. Well, what do we do now? Flash forward in time, and a bee is about to jump into a pool full of honey. Campbell! The bee gets stuck in the honey and gets a short <laughs> montage of bees leaving work. We see the pollen jocks flying, but one of them gets a call on his antenna. We're shutting... Oh, anyways, this is someone else. We're shutting down honey production. Abort mission. Aborting pollination and nectar detail. Returning to base. <clears throat> the pollen jocks fly back to the hive. We get a time lapse of Central Park slowly withering away as the World bees tank. all, whatever, relax. Adam, you would not believe how much honey was. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? What's going on? Where is everybody? <laughs> the oh, no. The entire city is deserted. Celebrating? Are they out oh. celebrating? They don't know what to do. Laying out, watching a Discord server. <laughs> <laughs> Did we just get found? <laughs> we yeah. did. This is we did. This, people for sure edited this because they knew people were gonna be. Oh, someone just joined the server. Oh, oh we're stupid. Alright, see you, Barry. Alright, see you, Barry. See ya. Thanks. It was fun. Uh, I heard you your Uncle it. Carl was on his way to San Antonio with a cricket. I just read that. At I, least I we got our country. honey back. Sometimes I think so. What if humans liked our honey? What the fuck? Who wouldn't? It's the greatest thing in the world. I was excited to be part of making it. This was my new desk. This was my new job. I wanted to do it well. And now, no, I can't. Flash, Flash forward in time. Barry is getting home. <laughs> <laughs> Barry is hanging out with Vanessa. <clears throat> I don't understand why they're not happy. I thought their lives would be better. They're doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? No one. What did you want to show me? Vanessa takes Barry to the rooftop where they first had coffee and points to her store. <laughs> 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 Vanessa points to her flowers. They've, they're all gray and wilting. What happened What did here? we laugh at? I missed it. Oh, I see it. <laughs> Let's <laughs> try hanging out. Uh, anyways... This is not this is not the half of it. That's not how you say that. Small flash forward in time, and Vanessa and Barry are are on the roof of her store. She points to Central Park. 
we see that Central Park is no longer green and colorful, rather it's gray, brown, and dead-like. It's very depressing to look at, like me. Is this oh, Fallout? Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Those are all wilting. Doesn't look very good, does it? No. And whose fault do you think that is? You know, I'm gonna guess bees. Mm. Bees? Specifically, me. I didn't think bees not needing to make honey would affect all of them. Okay. Uh, it's, <laughs> not, it's not just flowers. Fruits, vegetables, they all need bees. That's our whole SAT test right there. <laughs> Take away <laughs> produce that, uh, that affects the entire animal kingdom, and then, of course... The human species? It's got depressing fast. So, if there's no more pollination, it could all just go south here, couldn't it? I know this is also partly my <clears> fault. <throat> How oh about my this is my packs. favorite part of the entire movie. <laughs> we quote, I quote this story all the time. Me too. I quote this so much. How how do we do it? I'll sting. Sorry. <clears throat> I'll sting you. You step on me. That just kills you twice. Right. Right. <laughs> Listen, Barry. <laughs> sorry, but I gotta get going. Vanessa leaves. Barry to himself. I had to open my mouth and talk. Vanessa. Vanessa, why are you leaving? Where are you going? Vanessa's getting into a taxi. To the final tournament of the Roses Parade in Pasadena. 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 Uh, they've moved it this weekend because all the flowers are dying, and this is the last chance I'll ever have to see it. Vanessa, I just want to say I'm sorry. I never meant for it to turn out like this. I know. Me neither. The taxi Ooh. starts to drive away. Peace, bitch. Tournament of Roses. Roses can't do sports. Wait a minute. Roses. Roses? Roses! Roses! Sorry. Vanessa! <laughs> Barry flies after the taxi. Roses! Barry! Barry's flying outside of the taxi, the window of the taxi. Roses are flowers! Yes, they are. <laughs> flowers! Bees! Pollen! I know. That's why this is the last parade. Maybe not. Could you ask him to slow down? Can you slow down? The taxi driver screeches to a stop and Barry keeps flying forward. Barry! Barry. Wow, unnecessary. Barry flies back to the window. Okay, I made a huge mistake. This is a total disaster. All my fault. Mm, yes, it kind of is. <laughs> I've ruined the planet. And I wanted to help you with the flower shop. I've made it worse. Hold on, I have to go to the next page. Easy. Actually, it's completely closed down. <laughs> I thought... <laughs> I thought maybe you were remodeling. But I have another idea. And it's greater than any of my previous ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. Alright, they have the roses. The roses have pollen. I know every bee, plant, and flower bud in this park. All we gotta do is get what they've got back here with what we've got. Bees. Park. Pollen! Flowers? Repollination! <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? Cross the nation. Um, cross the nation, tournament of roses, Pasadena, California, pass the weed. Uh, they've got nothing but flowers, floats, and cotton candy. Security will be tight. This is such a weird. We're almost it done, though. This is weird. This is hard to read. Like it's. I know. There's uh, a lot of words, big words. Uh, I have an idea. The. Oh Flash forward in time, Vanette. Vanessa is about to board the plane, which has all the roses on board. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Vanessa what? Bloom, FT, FTD, holds out holds badge. badge. Official floral business. It's real. Sorry, my brooch. <laughs> Thank you. It's it was a gift. Barry is real to be hiding inside the brooch. Flashback in time. Couldn't he just Vanessa. fly in? He's a bee. Flashback in time. Flashback in time. Barry... Wow, flashback in time, and Barry and Vanessa are discussing their plan. Amazing. Once inside, we just pick the right float. How about the princess and the pea? I could be the princess, and you could be the pea! Yes, I got it. Thank you! Bless Where you. should I sit? Thank you. What are you? I believe... I oh, believe... 
I believe I'm the P. The P? It goes under the mattress. <clears throat> not not in this fairy tale, sweetheart. Oh. You do that, anyways. Uh this whole parade is a fiasco. Let's see what this baby will do. Vanessa drives Vanessa the float through the trap. This is so bizarre. I'm I'm having a lot of trouble. I'm over. I'm having trouble following now. Hey, what are you doing? And I've seen this movie. Then all we do is blend in with the traffic, out arousing suspicion. Okay. Once at the airport, there's no stopping us. This is morning time, and Barry and Vanessa are about to get on a plane. Stop! Security! You and your insect pack your float. Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> sorry. Uh, yes. Would you like to remove your shoes? Barry with three R's. <laughs> what is going on? I don't know. To Barry, remove Barry. your schnanger. It's part, it's part of, of me. Why are there two? <laughs> oh, oh my god, the rest of the script is like this. No, not the rest. No, the rest of the script is like this. Oh my god. All right, for, for those of you watching, suddenly everyone's name is Barry in this script. And we're, it's about to get oh, very no. confusing. I scrolled down even more. This I know, I saw it. Better. Okay. Then if we're lucky, right. we'll have just enough poems well, to do Mazzy, this job. Well, looks like you got a lot of work to do. Can you believe how lucky you are? We ju we'll just have just enough pollen to do this job. I think the regular Barry is the one in lowercase. Lowercase, yeah. No, it's not. Hold on. Attention, this is no, Captain Scott. Fuck. Yeah, it I is the one in uppercase. I think this is gonna work. It's got to work. On the intercom. Attention, passengers, this is Captain Scott. We have a bit of bad weather in New York. It looks like we'll experience a couple hours delay. Barry, these flowers are cut. With no water, they'll never make it. I gotta get up there and talk to them. Jenna. Secret says we should end it here because everyone's just yeah, this, this is impossible. Um, it's almost over. We're, we are okay, almost okay, done. Okay. okay. Where are we? Be careful. Uh, page 106. Be careful! Barry flies right outside the cockpit door. Uh, is that me? Yeah, this is- yeah. real Barry is capital Barry. No, but- oh yeah, you're right. Can I get help with the Sky Mall magazine? I'd like to order the talking inflatable and ear hair trimmer. The flight attendant opens the door and walks out, and Barry flies into the cockpit unseen. Captain, I'm in a real situation. What'd you say, Hal? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. No. Scott knows this Barry B! freaks out. All right. No, 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 no. Don't freak out. My entire species. Captain Scott gets out of his seat and tries to suck Barry into a handheld vacuum. What? Nice. What are you doing? Barry lands on Hal's hair, but Scott sees him. He tries to suck up Barry, but instead he sucks up Hal's toupee. Nice. Uh -oh. Wait a minute. I'm an attorney. Hal doesn't know Barry is on his head. Who's an attorney? Don't move. Oh, thank God. Maybe Scott not. Hits, Scott hits Hal and <laughs> Scott hits Hal in the face with a vacuum in an attempt to hit Barry. Hal's knocked knocked out, and he falls on the light on the life raft button, which launches an inflatable boat. Into Scott, who gets knocked out and falls on the floor. They're both unconscious. Oh, Barry. That's, oh, that's me. That's to himself. Sorry. I mean, I saw Oh, Barry, and I was like, well, it can't be Barry reading Barry. <laughs> oh, ba he's, oh, Barry. He's next he's door, Barry. Oh, the script is back to normal. With a southern accent. Good morning, passengers. This is your captain. <laughs> Would a Miss Vanessa Blue be at the cockpit? What an amazing microphone. I like how it says the unfunny Barry thing ends here. <laughs> Did you guys see that? <laughs> oh my god. Confused. Barry returns to a normal accent. And please hurry. Vanessa opens the door and sees the life raft and the conscious pilots. The unfunny Barry thing ends here. <laughs> there you go. Thank what god. happened? What happened here? Who, who did this? Oh, sorry. I tried to talk to them, but <laughs> there was a dust buster, a toupee, a life raft exploded. Now one's bald, one's in a boat, and they're both unconscious. Oh, god damn it. Jenna. Is that another bee joke? No! No one's flying the plane! This is JFK Thank Control you. Tower Flight 556. What's your status? This is Three Vanessa Blue. <laughs> I'm a florist from New York. <laughs> Where's the pilot? He's unconscious, and so is the co-pilot. Not good. Does anyone on board have flight experience? As a matter of fact, there is. 
Who's that? Barry Benson. From the Honey Trail? Oh, that's great. Vanessa, this is nothing more than a big metal bee. Um, it's got no, it's giant not. wings, huge engines. I can't fly a plane. Why not? Isn't John Travolta a pilot? Yes. What does he have to do with this? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, what? How hard could it be? Vanessa sits down and flies for a little bit, but we see lightning clouds outside the window. Wait, Barry! We're heading into some <laughs> lightning, dude. An ominous lightning storm looms in the front of the plane. We are now watching the B News. Bob Bumble. This is Bob Bumble. We have some late breaking news from JFK Airport where a suspenseful scene is developing. Barry Benson, fresh from his legal victory. That's Barry. Is attempting to land a plane loaded, loaded with people, flowers, and incapacity of flight crew. Flowers? 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 Thanks, guys. <laughs> Uh, we have a storm in the area, one. and two individuals at the control are at the uh, at the controls with absolutely no flight experience. Just a minute. There's a bee on that plane. I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benson and his no account compadres. They've done enough damage. But isn't he your only hope? Technically, a bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. Their wings are too small. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't we heard this a million times? And that's me. <laughs> I know, I'm just laughing yeah. at it. <laughs> oh, is, so, is no one reading the... Uh... Re re through, oh. through radio! Oh my God. Haven't we I heard, we heard this a million that. times? The surface area of the wings and body mask make no sense. Get this on the air. Got it. This Standing is, by. This is very... We're going live! Epic, epic is everyone, the movie. <laughs> the way we work may be a mystery to you. Making honey takes a lot of bees doing a lot of small jobs. But let me tell you about a small job. If you do it well, it makes a big difference. More than we realized. To us, to everyone. That's why I want to get bees back to working together. I read ahead and I'm confused. That's not the bee way. We're not made of jello. We get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> epic. Epic is just looking at me spamming you like jazz in my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! The scene switches and Barry is teaching Vanessa how to fly. Left, right, down, hover. Sorry, one second, I'm screenshotting. The jazz thing. <laughs> hover? Uh, forget hover. This isn't so hard. Pretending to honk the beep, horn. Beep, 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 beep. Wow. A lightning bolt hits the plane and the autopilot turns off. Barry, what happened? Logic. Wait, I think we were on autopilot the whole time. That may have been helping me. And now we're not. So it turns out I can't fly a plane. The plane plummets, but we see Lou, 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 Lou Duva and the pollen jocks along with multiple other bees flying around the plane. All of you, let's get it behind this fella. Move it out. Move out. This scene switches back to Va Va Vanessa and Barry in the plane. Our only chance is if I do what I do. You copy me with the wings of the plane. What? Barry sticks out his arms like a plane and flies in front of Vanessa's face. Don't have to yell. Oh, oh wait. no. Wait. Don't have to yell. Oh, God. I'm not yelling. We're in a lot of trouble. It's very hard to concentrate with that panicky tone in your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. I can't do this. <laughs> hey, snaps, Vanessa. Vanessa, pull yourself together. You have to snap out of it. Vanessa slaps Barry. You snap out of it. Barry slaps Vanessa. This goes on you for snap some out time. Of it. <laughs> you snap out of it. You snap out of it. We see that all the pollen jerks are flying under the plane. Oh, don't read the next one. <laughs> no, no. No. You snap out of no. it. <laughs> you snap out of it. You snap out of it. You snap out of it. Hold it! Why? Come on, it's my turn. How is the plane flying? The plane is now safely flying. I don't know. Barry's antenna rings like a phone. Barry picks up. Hello? Through phone. Benson, got any flowers for a happy occasion in there? All oh, the pollen jocks are carrying the plane. The pollen jocks! They do get behind a fellow. 
black and yellow. Hello. <laughs> 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 All right, let's drop this tin can on the black top. Where? I can't see anything. Can you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Come on, you gotta think B, Barry. Thinking B. Thinking B. I like jazz. Okay. On the on runway, the runway there are millions of bees laying their backs. Thinking B! Thinking B! Thinking B! Whose idea was this? Wait a minute. I think I'm feeling something. What? I don't know. It's strong, pulling me. <laughs> like a 27 million year old instinct. Bring the nose down. Thinking bee! Thinking bee! Thinking bee! Thinking bee. Thinking bee. What in the world is on the tarmac? Get some lights on that. Thinking bee! Thinking bee! Thinking bee! Thinking bee! Thinking bee! Vanessa, Thinking aim for bee. the flower! Okay. Thinking B. <laughs> <laughs> this is okay, boomer. Out the engines. We're going in on B power. Thinking Ready, B. boys? Affirmative. Good. Good. Easy now. That's it. Land on the flower. Ready? Full reverse. The scene for this is Spin it ridiculous. Around. The it it literally, the like. The flower painted on a nearby plane. No, not that flower. The other one. Which one? That flower. I mean, oh. plane is now pointed at a fat guy in a flower shirt. He freaks out and tries to take a picture of the plane. Mm -hmm. I'm aiming at the flower. It's really. F That's it's, a it's, fat it's, guy it's, in a flowered shirt. I mean, the giant pulsating flower made of millions of bees. <laughs> the plane hovers over the bee flower. Pull forward, nose down, tail up, rotate around it. This is insane, Barry. This is the only way I know how to fly. My cuckoo kachoo, or is this plane flying in, in, in an inset-like pattern? The plane is unrealistically hovering and spinning <laughs> over the beach. Yeah, flower. it's really funny. Get your nose in there. Don't be afraid. Smell it. Full reverse. Um. Just drop it. Be, be a part of it. Aim for the center. Now drop it in. Drop it in, woman. This is what she <laughs> said. <laughs> Come on already. Barry, we did it. Oh. The bee scatter and the plane safely lands. Barry, we did it! Again. You taught me how to fly! Yes! Vanessa is about to high five Barry. No high five! Right. Techno. Techno. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Barry, Te sorry, it's been a while. Did you see the giant flower? Uh, what giant flower? Where? Of course I saw the giant flower. That was genius. Dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> you. But we're not done yet. Listen, Thinking everyone. Thinking bee! Thinking This runway, <laughs> this runway is, is covered with the last pollen from the last flowers available anywhere on Earth. That means this is our last chance. We're the only ones who make honey, pollinate flowers, and dress like this, which is to say, fine as hell. <laughs> if we're going to survive as a species, this is our moment. What do you say? Janet, Thinking bee. Thinking bee! Where does he even <laughs> say that? It doesn't. No, no. It's ad libbing. Oh, thinking Are we going me. to be bees? Or oh, no. just <sighs> Museum of Natural History keychain? Thinking oh, bee. bees. Sorry, we're bees who think like bees. Bee bee who likes keychains. Keychain! Uh, oh, I see. I understand. <laughs> then follow me. Except keychain. Okay. Thinking bees. <laughs> Hold on, Barry. Here. You've earned this. Yeah. I'm a pollen jock. Thinking and it's bees. It's a perfect fit. All we gotta do are the sleeves. Thinking B! The pollen jock throw Barry a nectar collecting gun. Barry catches it. Oh yeah. That's our Barry, always thinking B! Barry and the pollen jocks get pollen from the flowers on the plane. Flash are forward we, in time, the pollen jocks are flying over NYC. Oh Barry pollinates the flowers in Vanessa's shop, then heads to Central Park. Mom! The bees are back! Thinking B! Adam puts on his Crowman hat. Techno. Techno. <laughs> if anybody needs to make a call, now's the time. I've got a feeling we'll be working late tonight. The bees, the, the... honey. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. The bee honey factories are done. back up and running. Meanwhile, at Vanessa's shop, to customer. 
here's your change. Have a good day. Have a great afternoon. Can I help? Who's next? Would you like some honey with that? It is be approved. Don't forget these. There is a room in the shop where Barry does legal work for other animals. He is currently talking with a cow. Cow, milk, cream, milk, cheese. Cream, it's cheese. all me. It's I don't know. Me. I don't I'm get just, a nickel. Sh shut up. <laughs> we're speed. We're speed running. Sometimes Whoa. I just feel like I'm a piece of meat. I had no idea. Had... Barry, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? Would you excuse me? My mosquito associate will help you. Sorry I'm late. He's a lawyer too? Ma'am, I was already a blood-sucking parasite. All I needed was a briefcase. <laughs> Have Gabby's a great afternoon. The whole thing now. Yes. Barry, I just got a huge tur tulip order. And I can't All get right, them then. anywhere. No problem, Vanny. Okay. Uh, just leave it to me. Barry, never call me that. You're a lifesaver, Barry. How uh, can I help who's next? All right, scramble jogs. It's time to fly. Thank you, Barry. Ken walks by a sidewalk and sees the bee approved honey in Vanessa's shop. That's a bee's living. Li okay, thank you, Epic. And it go. Let it go, Ken. Uh, oh, really soon. We're almost there. Uh, let it all go. Beautiful day to fly. Sure is. Between you and me, I was dying to get out of the office. Barry recreates the scene near the beginning of the movie where he flies through the box kites and then fades to black and the credits begin. Holy shit, we're done. Oh my god. No one can be seen. No, but you gotta no. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Everyone say thinking B. Okay, we're over because the rest of this is just made up. Okay, we finished this. Thinking B. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my you, you, it has been two hours and 20 minutes. The runtime so... for the B movie is an hour 35. 90 minutes. Well, to be fair, we took breaks and we were laughing about half ever, half of everything. So I mean, like there was a lot of okay. Nazi stuff in there. Anyways, I hope everyone there was enjoyed. A lot of Nazi oh problems. God, we're done. Uh, hey, we'll see just you guys. remember, we started it and four of us lived till the end. So should we set I mean, another to... donation challenge, perhaps? Yes, but a different Ooh. movie. Shut up, Epic. I have a bunch of Marvel movies. No, 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 it, ha it has to be like it has to be like a really dumb cartoon. It's got to be meme. Yeah. Can we do, oh, like, oh, can we do uh, Over uh, the Hedge? <laughs> No, I've never seen that movie. Um, uh, there's another really dumb one. What about Shrek? Maybe Dude, Revenge. How about Shrek. Revenge of the Sith? What about Shrek? No, that's too long. Oh yeah, it is really long. We'll do Shrek. Shrek I'll one do Shrek. or Shrek two? Shrek. Uh, let's let them decide. Okay, all the Shrek movies. <laughs> you can pick which Shrek movie we do. No, I'm all joking. Right. Shrek one or Shrek two? I, I, I'm all not right. gonna go with the other two. They're not. We'll as good. decide. All right. I hope everyone enjoyed. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> All right. Bye.